I don't know why. I should check and see if there's any room left on that hard drive. Oh, plenty of room. I have a hard drive full of old streams. And they're all auto-backed up. I got the VOD, you know, but no, I still have just hours of footage. In case I ever decide to do something, I guess. Hi, everybody, by the way. Maybe hi. I don't know if it's going yet or not. Hello. Hit. Oh, man, the song is still stuck in my head. Stop it now. It's been stuck in my head for days now. That's not gonna. Lay sigh. Hey, wait a minute. Don't be on that. You be on that. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, uh, Ashley. Hey. Uh, how have you been? I'm good. I'm, t I'm, I'm a little tired because it's been quite a day. Not a bad day, but just like constant. Uh, seven days. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lottie. National Scrabble Day. Um. Oops. Oh, it's over there now. Uh, so I've, I've just been just talking all day long. So I'm a little, uh, a little tired. So that's you know as per usual whenever I'm. Uh, in a calmer mood, I, uh, I go to my happy place, which is apparently, um, where are you, Steam? Uh, post-apocalyptic Earth. <laughs> There's my not worth a bullet name, because I was, oh, I'll show you. Sorry about the, the waviness of the screen. I'm still trying to work some things out. So, I did finally, was, I've made a giant mess over there so that my desk is slightly cleaner, but I did something really dumb. <laughs> um, thank you, H. Uh, lover. Uh, thank you, or uh, Lorna. Thank you, Petrify. Thank you, Nissa. Mine is, do tell my spoilers. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, thank you, Sorcerer. It's been a day for a lot of us. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, no, mine was just busy, not, not bad by any means. I just had, oh gosh, what did we shoot first this morning? Uh, I got in, we shot. Oh, oh, oh. We shot a little game called uh, Catch a Lover. And it was a game where National Peach Combo Day. Delicious. Thank you, Sheena. I'm sorry, that was a very loud Diet Coke. Uh, Catch a Lover is a Steam game that looks a lot like Who's Your Daddy. Um, and it, there's, it's four player. Um, it's a husband, a, uh, a lover, a wife, and a dog. You can just do it with two, but in this case, so the lover's trying to collect his clothes and uh, escape the house. The husband's trying to hunt the lover down and beat him up. The wife is kind of trying to block the husband, and then the dog can just, like, pee and poop on the floor and create traps and bite and bark. I, it's it's kind of unclear exactly which side the dog's on. I don't know if he's maybe rooting for it. Thank you, Squeak. Um, it's an interesting game. Uh... It, it conceptually sounds really good. It came out alright. Um, it's uh, it's not quite as developed as you might like. So it's maybe if they clean it up a little bit. Um, but uh, so we did that, um, and then did uh, then I had like a an hour long meeting. Thank you, Code Gibbs, where I was talking a lot. And then I did a two hour long uh, recording for our. Uh, patch reboot show, which the uh, it was the first um, pilot episode, so it'll be the first one that you can actually watch sometime soon, coming out on the um, uh, probably the, since it's a pilot episode, it'll be out for first members. Um, thank you, uh, Code Gibbs. Thank you, Altair. Thank you, Link, Zoo, Sue. Yeah. So, um, right now it's, it's really rough. It's still very early restructuring, moving things around. Thank you, Marbles. That's not on. Uh, thank you, Ghosty Toasty. Yeah, long one. Thank you. I appreciate that, Marbles. Um, what kind of headphones are these? These are uh, Astro A50s. All right, so that should be coming out of my headphones. 
but it's not because it's not current. No, wait, yeah, it is. Oh, got to go. Oh, got to Okay, good. I can hear it. Can I? It's coming out of the TV. Okay. All right. I'm trying to uh, remember how to turn on my headphones. Boop, boop, boop. Here's the chair. I'm actively trying to decide what chair is going to replace share the chair. Alright, now can I hear? No. Thank you, Leslie Rose. What's going on with this? Okay, I'm pushing buttons. Thank you, Bear Run! Okay, yeah. As usual, technical difficulties. Uh, thank you, Tank Dempsey. Thank you, Bob Dever. Uh, still work that wouldn't stop. And would stop and show some love. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Aaron Nilo. Till many sudden till midnight. Till midnight. Interesting. The chair in the meantime. Thank you. Thank you, friendly cyber. Thank you, Bear Run. Went insane when I realized there wasn't a part three, so I bought it. The witness let's play. Yeah, no, we never did a part three. I guess. What is happening here? Um, thank you, Leslie Rose. Thank you, Zaz Morrow. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we're talking. Oh, I was being temperamental. There. Yeah. Thank you, Peglick Sailor. Ha ha. Now we have sound. Thank you, T-Rex. Okay, yep, gunshots. Oh, just bide your time. It's gonna, you're gonna have plenty of time to get me in this. Uh, did you, so, uh, yeah, so we recorded that for about two hours. Um, enjoy the post-apocalypse. Thank you, Peglick. Uh, thank you, Rogue Spear. Um, there it is. So, recorded that for about two hours, then I did... Where's the bathroom else? It's plugged in there. We came back and recorded another... After that, we recorded a Let's Play in... Thank you, Pear Prophet. Uh, a Let's Play in uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which was pretty pretty solid video it's it's long because it's hard to play that game short and if you saw a stream you knew we were not originally very good at it but we really kind of got our stuff together by our last round all right um hello hey atalanta boo 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 do 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 thank you angel rocks hey boo, 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 boo. All right. Thank you, Uncooked Ravioli. Uh, <laughs> game idea sounds really cool. Well, let's see if it works. So, conceptually, the idea here is... I, I came up with it on Off Topic a week or so ago. Um, what I'm curious about is, if instead of building a base... Thank you, Nix! Uh, I'll address that in a second. Uh, instead of building a base, what if we tried to be... Uh, Sorry, again, this is my tired brain is still catching up. Thank you, thank you, age loss. What if we tried to be uh, mobile? What if we tried to stay on the move? What if we didn't settle down? Like we were had some place to be. We're going somewhere. Like we're trying to get to a new land to settle, like Oregon Trail. So I'm curious to see if you can one how long it takes to get from wherever you start to an edge because it's not a truly infinite world. Um, but you can't actually mod the size of the world through some game file manipulation. So if this doesn't take long enough, um, then I can modify the world so that when we do it in the Let's Play, it doesn't is not too easy. Um, and I'm also curious if it's just survivable. Um, so I'm gonna name it. Oh wait, or gun, trail. Um, I'm gonna use mostly standard options. 
Um, I'm going to turn the daylight out length up slightly. I'm going to give me myself two more hours of daylight. Uh, assuming that you would travel in summer when it would be more light. Uh, 50 minutes I'll do. Loot abundance. I'm turning that up. I'm going to turn that up to 200% just because we're, if we're constantly traveling, we're not going to have time to uh, loot respawn. won't matter. Um, we're not going to have time to collect and, and build as much, so we're going to have to find more things. Uh, I'm going to keep enemy spawning on high because that will keep it interesting. Airdrops every day. Cheat mode off. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to turn this on just in case later on I need to try some console commands to reset my position. Okay. I'm also turning down the, uh, since we're, we're going to be mobile, I'm turning down the number of nighttime hours just so there's not, there's less time where we're just sitting there. Thank you, Tabby. I'm going to play an Oregon Trail game while you do this. What should I, who should I take? You, you should look up uh, Oregon, O-R-G-A-N Trail on Steam. It's the zombie apocalypse version of Oregon Trail, and it's actually pretty funny. We did a Let's Play in it a while back. Uh, by the way, thank you, Marcus Wellner. Uh, building my computer for the first time. Do you have any advice for a first-time builder? Research. Look it up. Find your parts. Make sure, excuse me, make sure you know what you're buying. Uh, it's not hard to put a, put a computer together, but you gotta know that you got all the right stuff that fits together. Uh, thank you, Lorna. Never why I haven't watched stream so long. <laughs> your internet's not having any of it. I'm so sorry. Good night. Uh, and Nick, so a while back, you asked if we're gonna do more finding Bigfoot. Um, there is a big update for Finding Bigfoot coming out in the next few months. I think maybe next month. Uh, you can play an Oregon Trail two days in a row. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Gerald. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unforgiving place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get that. Um, I was saying something. Right, Finding Bigfoot. Big update. So we're going to wait for the update because... Uh, once we get the update, then that'll actually give us some more... It's a it's a really fun game, but there's not a lot of polish there yet. Um, why is my sensitivity so high? So, having a little bit more to work with is only going to improve what we do. Plus, you know, more people will be around. We can. I think they're actually taking it up to four-player. It's currently only three-player. Thank you, Kayvon. Um, so, I think four-player will actually make that a lot more fun and they'll give us some more things to work with I think there's a new map coming where the, you hunt a yeti alright you guys need to decide what direction you want me to go pick a cardinal direction north, south, east, west don't pick a diagonal well actually a diagonal could do it mm. if I got a favorite direction thank you Caitlin I seem happy and upbeat I'm, I'm right there on that edge of exhaustion again so uh, by the end of the stream Looney Tune Ryan may be out. I don't know why I asked in this form. That's just a lot of directions. Sometimes there's like the hive mind kicks in and everybody's like, West! Not so much this time. Kanye West? No. Thank you, Melmo. Send on some uni work. Saw Ryan streaming. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh. No, do your work, Melmo. Um, thank you, Tabby. Uh, I'm scared of zombies, so I'll stick with the old-fashioned game. Good luck, Adrian. Thank you. Thank you, Max Mancini. I should do a poll. Okay, I'm I'm fighting uh, the undead. Maybe one of the uh, mods would mind kicking together a poll for me real quick. Thank you, Doc. South. You're always supposed to go south. Go down. Ah, boo. Thank you, Nix. Nix with the north, huh? Thank you, Altair. Go up. All right, well, up's relative. I can't just fly. Um... So right now, I'm just going to collect a couple, like, general resources so that uh, I have something to work with as we flee. That, that good old, like, eh, the, the first five minutes of playing this game is all pretty much the same. Collect some snowberries so I have something to eat. This is the other part of this will be really interesting, is there's a whole lot of collection things that are no longer useful. Thank you, Nissa, the Mad King of the North. Mm -hmm. To the wall. Uh, thank you, Bear Run. Uh, you can fly. You're just not trying hard enough. Well, I mean, I can, I can fly. Yes, because I have cheats turned on. I could just fly straight up. Thank you, Jay Hall. Uh, thank you, Neutrino Bunny. 
Go west, young man. It is the Oregon Trail. That is a great point. Uh, you know what? Neutrino Bunny just killed it. We must go to the west. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking, trying to go to Oregon without going west. Unless maybe I was somewhere to the east. Okay, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use raw iron. I definitely don't need that or that ah! ever. Thank you, Obstinate Hobbit. That's, we don't, there's no guarantee that there's desert to the west. Weast? I don't think I said weast, but it's possible. Uh, thank you, Oxy. Uh, Kazmi trapped in her base. I don't. I don't know how to solve that problem for you. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ghost Thane. Okay. So. Part of the challenge of this is what happens when I uh, end up in the middle of nowhere and night's coming. Make some clothes real quick. Just so that goes away. No room in queue. The hell there isn't. Gonna need, gonna need that in a minute. Okay, I should have plenty of wood. Got a fair number of rocks, though. Could really use some more. We go to the west. All right. Good non-typical Irishman. What is that noise? That sounds like a something hitting a wall. Uh, food's also going to be kind of an interesting quandary, unless I can get real lucky and find something to cook on, not with. Okay. Thank you, Red Riding Hood. Gotta get some stamina back. While I'm waiting on that, I should might as well put my clothes on. I'm naked! Woohoo! Hmm. What did I miss? Shoes. Who cares about the shoes? I mean, unless you want unblemished feet. But yeah, no, Finding Bigfoot was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to when they update that game a bit. I think it's it can, as long as they support it, it can only get better. Okay, I don't think the next thing is it's going to want me to make a club. There it is. Thank you, Carrie! Wow, mobile cheering is a thing now. Interesting. Okay, now I'll make a bow. No, wait, don't make a bow. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Wait, why? Okay, thanks, Get Got Goat. How many rocks do I have? Okay. Nice. Wow, that 200% uh, loot thing really works great for feathers. Thank you, Nelly Noodle. You look at the starvation mod pack for seven days to die one. Adds a lot of new things to the game. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'll look it up. At this point, our Let's Play series is going to be an interesting uh, race against an update. Because a, a lot of times the update to this game will break it. Or at least break saves. Um, which is fine. I mean, it's an alpha. It should should be updating things so dramatically that save games break. Thank you, Mojang. <laughs> Eve. Now we're armed. Get lucky. Nope. The last time I did this game was what? I think it was like a... Why was there was some... Oh, right. I think last time I played this game was that time where I just did anything that someone asked me to do. Or something. What was it? I did like someone, anything, someone cheered. I fulfilled... Oh, man. That, that went downhill quick. Uh, thank you, Release of Fury. Uh, downside of working in one of the most popular stores uh, in the highest trafficked mall in D.C. To me, children run, ruin my con conversation just so they can buy one bubble bar they think is a bath bomb. I mean, that does sound... Oh, no, we're cool. That does sound pretty abysmal. Yeah. <laughs> Putting on sunglasses makes you more athletic. Good to know. 
Come here, pig! Yeah, piggy! Yeah, zombie pig! Oof. Excuse me. You sit there. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta get this pig. I do need to raid that house, but I need that... Come here, Porkins! Nope. I need you to die. Thank you. Oh, boy. He really had a scream. Thank you, Katie! Uh... And yes, it doesn't sound like you're salty at all. Release the fury. I hear you, zombie. I just choose not to look. It. Okay. Show me that head. Thank you. Yeah. Where? Okay. I guess you don't get special stealth points for shooting the dongle. I that or it fell off. Uh, thank you, Cheryl. Pork chops for everyone. They're murderously delicious. That one dead? Yep. Okay. Woo! Should really be using that club. Uh oh. Yeek! I hear you. Like getting shot in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Who knows where it's coming from? Boy, there's a lot of you guys hanging out around this house, huh? Missed. Yeah, open the door for me. Uh, thank you, Oxy. Uh, I don't know what a Muxy is, but I'm using it. Muxy's the name of the program that uh, I use for the cheer cup. I don't know what it is aside from that. I don't care about you. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. That's nothing personal. Missed. Ooh. I feel like the act. Thank you, Grim Wolf. Bounty claim for the killer of Sir. Did you mean Oinkins? Okay. I really need some kind of cooking implement. This is the only reason I'm sticking around this house. If I can get a grill, that would be great. Alright, stop it. Ah, come on, Rogue Spear! I am glad zombies don't have guns. Have you seen that movie where, like, the one picks up a gun and then they, like, go in the water and, like, the Tower of Babel or... I don't know. They... Man. I'll just beat the door open. Land of the Dead. Thanks. The one smart zombie, and he's all like, Oh, don't like hurt zombie friends. And then he gets a gun. Ow! I really thought I could slip by you there. Club! Bad zombie! No cookie! Got a bag of blood. Nothing. Great. I bet they broke the one thing that had anything good in it. Some glue in a can. You know, some water would just be great. None of this is useful. To me. Peas, that's good. Right now I'm just taking everything because I want to get out of here. Uh, empty jars, that's sort of good. Oh, maybe I'll learn something. Fire arrows? Sure. Not hugely useful, but... Uh, okay, just give me that and that. What did I just pick up? Oh, cook pot! Okay, there we go. That'll help. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Beep. Like that. Eat you later. Don't need the glue. What am I doing on physical... Wait, wait can I just use that? Eat. Om, 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 om. Cookie monster-like blood. Thank you, Bear Run. Is that children right here? And thank you, Wyo Gaming. Uh, yes, that is the kids getting ready for bed. Uh, cause, uh, 
I got them all ready. They got their baths done, everything, and then uh, Larry got home just in time. So, all right, back to the west. And ooh, uh, thank you, Lottie. You know, imports of haggis to the U.S. have been banned since the '70s. Boom! Random fact no one needed to know. Uh, but I think we all kind of suspected that that was the case. Chicken! Where'd you go, chicken? Ah, chicken! That'll do. Stab it with a shiv. That's how you get feathers out. Or you just throw it in like a tumbler. Uh, you may say, Ryan, why did you kill that chicken? I have no rebuttal. Okay. Thank you, Nix. Bear! Wait, bear? <laughs> You're absolutely right. That was the sound of a bear. I was too, too zoned in on the chicken. Wow, I got lots of interesting arrowheads. Stop it now. And, ooh, I got three full waters too. That's good. So, right now, at this moment, if it, we we're doing this like Oregon Trail style, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Because we haven't found nearly enough water to sustain us. We're all going to have the runs. Oh, that makes it like Oregon Trail. This is actually working out. Thank you, Obstinate Hobbit. I don't know how I didn't see the bear. Uh, anyway, I'm going to jump back to what I was talking about way back in the beginning here. Which, why I had this giant mess behind me was... So, um, some of you may remember how I had my desk set up where I had... Um, two uh, monitor stands, each with a console under it, one here and then one there. Uh, and then I bought a monitor arm, but unfortunately, uh, there's not enough on the back of my desk to clamp into. Uh, so what I had to do was a little get a little creative. Um, and... Uh, it didn't exactly pan out like I'd hoped. Um, and now sometimes the, the camera view may bob and weave a little bit. Um, because I may have... Oh, we're already out of this. Okay. May have taken one of the monitor stands and attached the monitor arm to it instead of the desk. So... Now it's just kind of bouncy. I'm not doing a great job explaining this, but at the moment I'm also fighting zombies. So, you know, I hope some leeway will be given. Uh, thank you, uh, Caitlin. I've noticed you sing those uh, BLR songs all the time. BLR. I don't even know what it's... Oh, 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 oh bad lip reading. Yeah, it's, well, they're, it's, you know, an earworm, basically. It's mind crack. Whoops. Really expected to be out of that menu faster. This may be where I bunker down for the night if I can clear it out in time. Okay. Stop making noises on the ground. Biff. Biff. Woo! Biff! Three for three! Hat trick! I, I mean, I guess technically it was already a hat trick. Oop. Metal Rod! Could you kindly die? Thank you. Whoa! Alright. Okay, fine. We have to do it that way, we have to do it that way. Mmm, delicious broken sandwiches. Uh, thank you, Zazmora. The knife uh, that I got on Awood this week is illegal in Australia. It should be illegal anywhere near anybody. 
<clears throat> it's a. Uh, I think I've seen a lot of people showing me the what they supposedly the legitimately most dangerous knife in the world, uh, and by that, I assume they mean the standard of the fact that it is uh, creates the deadliest wound. Whereas that knife is probably just dangerous in the sense that it is very awkward to use. Um, you, the chances of hurting yourself with it are pretty strong. Alright. We've got a little bit of daylight left, but... Just wood. Wood would be sufficient. Um... Thank you, by the way, uh, Nix. Uh, I think I can speak for most of the chat when I say, how on earth did you walk within 10 feet of a bear and not get mauled immediately? Uh, I got anti-bear charms. It's true. Yeah, but no. I don't know. I, I, I should be dead. Like, super dead. Hyper dead. Oh, shit, there's a forge in here. Huh. Well, that'll work out. I can make some iron arrowheads real quick. If I got enough wood. Ah. Oh, didn't expect that. I forget that these kind of buildings make those. That'll be great. Uh, I think all I need is... Do I need clay too? Damn it. Okay, I've got time to get some clay. Crap. I'll have a working door. Right. This is barely there. Uh, whoa, I missed a few there. Uh, thank you, Grimwolf. Did someone say random facts? Near 3% of the ice in the, Ar a in the Antarctic glaciers is penguin urine. You know what? There's just some things that I was better off not knowing. That was one of them, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Why didn't you mount the arm to the wall? Uh, it's, it didn't have an ar a wall mount option. Um, thank you, Zazmoro. Right, uh, yeah, thank you, Raw Lawfish, for the resub. Thank you, Satan Caitlin. New show of demonstrating weapons coming out. You, you it's funny you say that because we've been in very serious talks of that about that very show. It's it's probably something that will happen soon. Um, it's it's too interesting not to do at this point. Come on, just need some clay. Alright, so we're at day one. I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress. Nope, not the rock. There we go. I really didn't think I would ever get to the point where I needed this, but... Um, thank you, Moj. Do you keep the weapon at work, or do you take them home? No, we keep them all at work right now. Uh, but when we are, we actually have ordered a weapons rack, or re or we're about to, and someone told us they were sending us one. So, they will be on a rack very soon. Uh, thank you, Bear Run. Uh, clearly not, because everyone calls me a bear, yet here I am. Well, no, it doesn't work on, uh, some bears. It's, uh, it's only certain bears. Very specific bears. Bears that like the taste of human flesh. I don't smell like human. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Uh, along with Mad King, also, when do you rule Achievement City again? Uh, you mean is, is in like, when do I get around to making Dark God? That's a great question. It's totally soon. Uh, thank you, Katie. Hold on, let me get inside and I'll read some more. Yeah. But yeah, so, I have a... Ah! Ah, zombie in the wall. We got wall zombies. Just wait for the moment. Missed. Idiot. There it is. Bip. Okay. That works really well, actually. Woody. Show day. Some more wood. Mm, do I have time to chop down a tree? Maybe a small tree. Like a, a tree child. Uh, thank you, hero. E hero. 
Um, Mad King will always live until the dysentery catches up with him. Well, at the moment, I've been really lucky on food, so I think dysentery won't take me this time. Thank you, Zabeta. Nice to see you again. Yeah, that knife you got is meant for cutting tendons at the knees to immobilize the target from slicing the neck, I believe. It's considered dangerous because it's hard to notice the right hands. Uh, it's also very hard to not cut yourself with in, in the wrong hands. Uh, but, you know, you do what you can. Oh, I might need those. Oh, I can actually make something with that while it's out of the pot. I got real lucky finding that pot. Uh, thank you, oh no, it's Chrissy. What do you think of the chances of you running into a zombie bear on this journey? Good chances, I would imagine. Uh, thank you, Oxy. I think uh, Abomination would make a great addition to the weapons display. I agree. Uh, I don't know that we're going to be getting a replica Saiga shotgun with a uh, silver flip-out blade on it anytime soon. Um... Thank you, Satan Caitlin. Please tell me you're going to crash test dummy uh, like Buster from the Myth Busters for a Weapon Show. Uh, I mean, I, th I would imagine. Thank you, Bob Dever. I'm probably going to get more like uh, a series of more cuttable things like fruit. Um, just because that's uh, much more satisfying when you actually cut things. Um. Thank you, Zeltux. Are you going to don the face mask in what color? Red, blue, orange, purple. Don the face mask. What are we talking about? I feel like this is a reference I'm not getting. Uh, and thank you, Katie. Spent largely the last night Skype dragging my friend into watching Rooster Teeth stuff. Got her addicted to day five watching Off Topic. Good job. Thank you, Katie. We appreciate the, the recruitment drive. Uh, thank you, Sir Dubbington. What happened to age competitive shows like Go and Versus and Presented with Comment? Uh, well, Presented with Comment kind of went away because it, it inspired a lot of negative attention-seeking behavior. It's it's like raising children. It's like, oh, well, we could do that, but it's making people act out. And uh, they were not treating it very much with respect. So, well, I mean, they were just saying things to get attention and not saying things that were ever very nice. So it becomes demoralizing. Um, but uh, Go, it's a lot of the issue with Go, it's still a show. We still have it on the docket. Our main issue with it right now is just a lack of ideas. We really kind of did a lot of episodes of that show, and I don't know that there's much left we could do. I mean, whenever we come up with something, we're always happy to do it again, but um, we just ran out of ideas for what could be good for that. Okay. Shore up the fences a little bit here. At least so there's not just a direct path into the house. up all my wood. There. Okay. Uh, let's see where are we at. Thank you, Nix. Uh, I just want to say the day when someone sends you guys a Zwei hander and Gavin tries to hold it and just breaks everything. I mean, I too expect that that day may come. <laughs> I'm going to make that and make one of those because it's going to ask next and because I actually need it. Get out of here, chair. I'm not getting wood for the same way. Nope. Okay, I'll wait to do that after I place the bedroll so I get credit for it. Who needs it? I'm not staying here. I guess if I die, that's where I'll come back. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Man, this place sucks. I'm walking around crouch so that hopefully I don't get noticed by the zombies. Yeah, a little bit of wood. 
Hey, hey. Ooh, can make some bacon and eggs. Yeah. And some red tea. Bottle water. And whatever's left over, we'll see. And iron arrowhead. I still can't make because I'm an idiot. You need an anvil for that, don't you? Uh, can I, do I have enough to make an anvil? What do I have to, wait. Anvil required, okay. You can make an anvil. It's gonna use up most of my iron, but at least I'll get some arrowheads. Because in the morning we move. There's no staying. Tonight we drink beer. Uh, thank you, Cali Warrior. I hear wall zombies make great neighbors. They do not. It's, uh, whoever told you that was, was not telling you the truth. They did you a great disservice. The wall zombies are terrible. They eat all the brains. They pee and poop on the lawn. I mean, well, it's not really pee or poop. It's kind of just, like, goo that oozes from their various tracts. Uh, but still, it's not pretty. The secret corner... No, let's just get crap in it. There is an upstairs in this house. And I'll go up there in just a minute as soon as I finish raiding all this. Okay. Go to... What do we got? That will make me very, very thirsty. Here, have some more iron. 45 seconds left on that. Um, thank you, Zeltux, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Gotcha. Now I understand. Sorry. Uh, so I don't. I don't know when our, our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cosplays will come together. We had that. We did a game a while back. I recall we said bro a lot. Bro, 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 bro. It was probably ah. quite insufferable. I would imagine. I would expect this to be anyway. Here we go. Ah! Thank you, Grim Wolf. Random fact number two: Frederick Wilhelm Adam, that guy, was a pharmacist uh, who isolated morphine from opium in 1806. Named it morphine after Morpheus, the Greek god of dreams. That's a, that's a good fact. Unless you're a morphine addict, in which case you're probably not happy with that guy. But, you know, it has actually been a very useful drug. If, even if it's been misused. Anything can be abused, right? Um, thank you, Bob Dever. Have you ever seen the Starvation mod for this game? It's pretty sweet. It even has pets and NPCs. I have not, but I will look it up. Because it's been recommended now a couple times. Oh, it just became nighttime. I'm dumb. I could have been running around. Yay, I can make iron arrowheads. Okay. Not as worried about making tools. Like, normally I'd be trying to level up my tools a lot right now, and I probably should still be doing that, but... Uh, again, this is more of a proof of concept than anything. So day one, we didn't make it that far. Um, so we'll see, hopefully, on day two. I can... Ideally, we get to the edge of the world before day seven. We don't... This is some serious trouble. Uh, thank you, Zabeta. Uh, thanks for the welcome back. Check in most of your streams. Just have not spent money cheer lately. Use names for GTA. Couldn't get the games for years. Sorry to hear that. Uh, thank you, MoJ. You ever do immersion again? I am always up to do immersion. I was all, I've only been asked the one time. It was a lot of fun, though. Um, but, you know, that's sort of Gavin Michael thing. Uh, thank you, High Voltage. This is blacksmithing here in near future. Once I develop some skills, I'd be glad to make you something for Abu. Oh yeah, I'd love to see that. Uh, I don't exactly know what to request of a blacksmith, if I'm honest. Um, but, uh, whatever you feel, you know, make something you're proud of. When you're proud of it, I'll be happy to see it. Mm. 
I mean, obviously, the go-to thing with blacksmiths are usually, like, swords and whatnot, but uh, I assume that that's a little bit further down the I'm going to learn the blacksmith things uh, totem pole. Um, and also, don't burn your face off. Thank you, Bear Run. Every time you call yourself stupid, an angel dies and all your fans cry. That's very sad. <laughs> I, I'm both of them actually. Angels dying and f crying fans. Uh, thank you, Altair. Uh, give them armor to go with all the weapons. That's something we've also considered is we might need some sort of protection. Thank you, April, for the twelve month resub. We do grow up so fast. God, has it been a year? That's ridiculous. Uh, thank you, Zazmoro. Uh, why are we allowed to get any more bad sex advice or ruin another safe word? Sure we can. What is the current safe word? I don't even know. Uh, thank you again, Grimwolf. Grimwolf, thank you, Bob Dever. Uh, found a fun idea for Pitfall Trap. Dig all the way to the bedrock, lay down hay bales, and jump in to remove hay bales. Zombies take all the damage. That is pretty funny. I know that's one of the... Uh, yeah, April, I'm still catching up. Sunflower, right, it's Sunflower. Yeah. I'm trying to catch up right now when there's not much else I can do other than just sit here making arrows. Uh, thank you, Tabby. I'm playing Oregon Trail 2. My party members have already died. So far, my party, 100%. No problems. Uh, thank you, Oxy. You said you haven't already gone to three local gunsmiths and asked for non-functional replica. I, yes, I do think they would give you weird looks for that, Oxy. Uh, thank you, ZZ Smokey. Thank you, Altair. Uh, thank you, April. You forget to check the letters in voicemail, aka resubs. Uh, no, I didn't forget to check it. I'm just, I'm still catching up right now. Yeah, sorry, April. That's I'm you know, playing the game, and when there are quiet moments, I'm trying to catch up. Thank you, Doc Breaker. Ruined starfish. Well, it's sunflower, right? Starfish? Starfish ever go thing? I... Thank you, Rogue Spear. Also, yay, gunshots. Thank you, Katie. Me and Allison can agree on a date. Looking for a wedding, so we decided to ask you to pick. Nope, I'm not picking your wedding. That's you. This is your special day. Do I consider myself a nighttime person? I used to be. I, I'm not allowed to be any more children are mean about sleeping. Thank you, Cheryl. Safe word is french fries. You're lying. Thank you, Ashley. Safe word is sunflower. Everybody else gave it up. Thank you, Rogue Spear. Thank you, Doc Breaker. Hey, I caught up. Sunflower. Got it. Okay. I'm going to eat some bacon and eggs. And ruin some innocence. No, I'm kidding. I mean, yeah. I mean, what else are we going to do? It's dark. We're just sitting here in the house. You know, nothing to do but ruin some safe words. It would be a real shame something happened to him. Thank you, Oxy. One guy convinced until I said, I need a bayonet made of silver that can flip out from the side and press a button. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I think that's why they made all their own guns. So here's the other downside of this idea. Uh, I mean, it's not really a downside, but here's the other challenge that comes with this. Uh, because we'll be having to move and eat, we're going to be running around with stuff in our pack all the time. So we're going to constantly have a smell. Thank you, Joe Death. Why aren't zombie women interested, Jeremy? I feel like this is a setup. This is going somewhere. Thank you, Penguin. Uh, your cup is in front of your stats. Got it. I'll move it. Who is knocking at my door? Hello, Libby. What are you doing? I need to go. I need to go. Okay, go do that then. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why she feels like I need to know that every time. <laughs> or why all of you need to know that every time. Uh, thank you, Big One, the cups for the set. Ralph, fix that in a second. Thank you, April. No apologies. I was trying to teach you I'm being distractible, but in time of you reading the resub. And the tears did not work in my favor. Ha! He's a. Uh, Joey Death, he's all brawn, no brains. Ah! <laughs> I like that you really slow played the delivery on that, too. 
My snuck in. Hello. Thank you, Okami Tenchi. And Brewer. Alright. Turn that off. Take that. Anything else in here I can get rid of. I don't feel like these snowberries are really going to be useful, but I'll hold on to them for now because uh, the animal hide's probably no good. Don't need that. Antibiotics could be very useful. Bone shiv. Last iron arrowheads. I really don't need this, so I'll just throw it in there. I could use that wood, though. Phrasing. Thank you, Mojang. Who trained your dogs? Who trained my dogs? Nobody. They're terrible. They're not well behaved. That one? That one's a nightmare with guests. She just immediately jumps on everybody. You want to get up there, Maya? Okay. I'm sorry, I made a big mess. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Maya had to go with Lari to work today because she's been uh, throwing up a little bit. But she's better. She's good. I. Uh, She's had so many tests done that we have confirmed that she's okay. Thank you, Rock. Uh, don't my kids like to do that? I told, I told I ran through a full restaurant announcing, I went poopy in the potty. That's kids. Yep, that's the joy of kids. Um, as we sit here in the dark, what can I make that would be useful? I'm making wind clubs. Totally fill up. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Hey, you need that one. Yeah, there it is. I knew it was coming. Thank you, those wars. Is there a story behind to the naming of you or your kids? Uh, I'll say that in a second. Nice try, friends. But I know what a butt's for. Pooping! Thanks, Jack. Thank you, Release Fury. Uh, how dare you insult the best part of the stream? What did I say to Maya? Oh, no. No, she is terrible. She doesn't care. She gets love. That's all she cares about. Maya is not at all put off by the fact that she is a bad dog with company. Shockingly, she's okay with it. All you know for sure is that as soon as a new person comes into the house, she's going to jump all over them. Uh, thank you, Ms. Ogre. Thank you, Death. Joe. Thank you, Death. You know, he listen, uh, they listen to you way more now in Heroes and Halfwits. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm starting to win that battle a little bit. It's, uh, an uphill battle. Thank you, Nyx. Look, it's not that she's not a, a good dog to own, but that doesn't make her a well-behaved dog. I think we can all agree on that. Thank you, Ashley. I'm just phrasing your cots, I shall show. You know, I always know when to count on you. Um, right. Story behind naming the kids. Uh, Eli is named after my grandfather. And Laurie just has always liked the name Olivia. And so she wanted to name a daughter Olivia for as long as she has been alive. And so she did. I got very little input on the naming of our daughter. And by very little, I mean literally none. I was not consulted. I was threatened with castration were I to make any unaccounted for changes to the birth certificate while she was indisposed. There were threats aplenty to my manhood. And so, dutiful husband that I am, our daughter is named Olivia. <laughs> Uh, Alright, is that daytime? It's not. Right, I still don't have a door that works. Uh, Francis Sariel, and also Fupa. Yeah, I got that one too. Thank you, Francis. Thank you, Katie. Elsa says you suck, although you're still invited to our fake visa wedding. We just want a damn date. You know, whatever. You know, you need. To pick a date based on when you two can get in the same place. That's. Uh, thank you, Mojang. 
Bring one of the cats? No. If they come up here, it's on their, them. I'm not going to get them. Thank you, Zabeta. Daylight, like 18 hours, blocked her belly. 25, loot 200, loot respawn, da, 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 player kill everyone, start borders of city, free for all, one day setup, go. It's an interesting thought. Uh, a lot of those aren't settings. Um, and it sound, starts to sound a lot like Battlegrounds at that point. Thank you, K1. Fun fact the origin of the phrase touch wood, knock on wood comes from the ancient Celts. They believed in the power of trees, and if they told their problem to the trees, the trees would absorb their problems. So hug a tree, everybody. Thank you, Satan, Caitlin. Laurie is a boss, and I'm getting is what I'm getting from this information. She is a boss and the boss. You got it. Alright. Time to break out of here. You've been a lovely uh, little house. Thank you for your time. I Come on, Rogue's Beard. Um, thank you, Freckles. Fairly weird to say, but your wife is kind of my favorite person that I've never met. I mean, she's my favorite person, so I can see how that would be. Uh, thank you, Matouf. There's a difference between a sweet dog and a good dog. That is true. That is what I was getting at, yes. Oh, I almost did something real dumb. Go back. Ow! Ow! Idiot. Almost left my pot behind. Can't leave without your stash. I guess. It's a pretty common question is, you know, because we make jokes about that kind of thing all the time. Like, have, we, have you ever smoked pot? No. Didn't drink. I haven't done drugs. Literally never tried anything. And, you know, I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me at all. I don't care if, you know, that's other people's thing. Go for it. But me, never done it. <laughs> Why do you hate your cat, son? Son? Well, daughter. Wait, that would, that's not how that relationship works. Mm. I'm from Georgia. Uh, I don't hate my cats. My cats are, uh, you know, they're cats. I forgot to make a bow. They're just not very, uh, they, you know, they're cats. Cats like to do things on their time, not on your time. You don't want to try and force a cat to do something. Uh, thank you, Rogue Spear. It's a bit dangerous to look over there while I'm running in a land of cacti. I wish this was the kind of desert where I could pick up a lot of yucca fruit without having to beat a cactus to death to get it. We're good for ah! Thank you, Reginald. Uh, hang on, I gotta see here. Uh, thank you, Rogue Spear. Would you ever think about having another kid? I think we're good with two. Uh, once they, they outnumber you, uh, it becomes dangerous. Plus, here's the thing about having going from having one kid to ha or having two kids, one kid or two kids, to having three kids. If you happen to pop out twins or something, um, you really have to reorient your whole life at that point. You can't fit three comfortably in most cars if they're all of an age where they have to be in car seats, which mine are. Um, so. It's a big life change. And, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. Also, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy, right? It's a damn shame. Um, thank you, April. Kudos to Laurie. Ooh, is that a airdrop? I swear I heard one. Nope, that's an actual plane outside my house. <sighs> Kudos, Laurie, the girl name thing. I understand the feeling so well. Good to know the bodily threats work for my future reverence. Oh, they do. Turns out, I like my junk. Where it is. Oh, did not expect her to go down in one. I feel like they've tweaked things in this. Your starting axe seems to last longer. Uh, 
Oh, there's a settlement way back there. Um, thank you, Nelly Noodle from Kitty Rainbows. I'm glad Maya's okay. I can't cheer for a while because I'm saving money to try and fix my cat's illness. She has hyper, hyper, like hypo or hyperthyroidism? Hyper. One means uh, overactive and one means underactive, essentially. I had a girlfriend in, uh, when I was in college that had hyper, I think? Hit you with my stick! Bad zombie! This is how you tame a zombie. Bad. Bad. I'd spritz water in his face, but it's kind of a valuable commodity. Ooh, dodge. I'm out of stamina. That's a real shame. Uh-oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Uh -oh. Whoa! Alright, cool. Look, corn! Ooh, you didn't fall down. Ah, I probably, you know what? I'm just gonna let that house. Man, I still need a lot of resources if I'm gonna make it all the way to Oregon. This is the be the closest we get to stopping at traders. So I'll be right with you, folks that have cheered and subbed. Sorry. Kind of a moment right here. Ooh, lightning. Thank you, Nessa. Kink shame the zombies. Ooh, what was a zombie kink be? I like it when you rub brains on my nipples. Mm. Ah, okay. Come on, Grim Wolf. Uh. That's creepy. Okay. Um. Oh, wow gotten away from me a little bit on the cheers. Uh, thank you, Larmander, for the resub. Thank you, Ashley, for the little wrench under the hood of my truck. Just went out to get it and bonked my head of the damn hood. I've done that a lot of times. I feel your pain. Ooh, more cookpots. Who cares? Learn! No, don't need paper. Excuse me, sir. Was this your house? I apologize. Could you could you come outside so I could shoot you in the face? Nope. Nope. Come on, Chuck Testa. Let's go. I'm just sad that I didn't get to see the reaction to the rub brains on my nipples statement. Because I was too busy trying to not be turned into nipple brain. Ooh, chowder. Sorry, sorry. I really want to read those messages, but I also need to live a little bit. Otherwise, we'll never see the fair plains of Oregon. Okay, I need that. I don't need this. I don't need that. I really don't need the wrench, to be honest. But Get out. Uh. Okay. I'm going to take a moment here to... Make sure I thank everybody. Uh, okay, goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, thank you, Mojay, to help the dog not jump turn away. No, it's, it's too late for them. They're really messed up. Thank you, Release the Fury. Uh, she's a good company. I plan on naming my daughter after my grandmother. Don't give a flying my partner, thanks. Hey, good on you. You do it. Thank you, Larmander. Thank you, Ashley. The Wrench. Thank you, Reginald. As a father of three, you remind me that dads can still have fun. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you so much, Reginald. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Caitlin. Well, daughter. Wait, now I'm really confused how this works in a tree. Uh, thank you, Death. So you and H are piling onto the mini bike to travel land beyond life, right? I need to make a lot more mini bikes before that. Also, the Christ punchers demand bikes. Thank you, Zabeta. Uh, drinking drugs bit. Uh, same here. Uh, been one and the other since I was a kid. Never, never will. Yep. Yeah, and also the, the job thing uh, is not really an issue for me, but, you know, for a lot of professions it is. Thank you, Cheryl. Outnumber you. My parents had six kids. That is outnumbered. You're right. Thank you, Nelly Noodle. Kitty Rainbow's Glad Myers. Okay, got that one. Okay, thank you, Bear Run. You had a girlfriend. Sounds but okay. Ooh, I see what you were going for there, but you missed it. Nice try. Thanks, Cats Alive. Easter Bits. Thank you, Allison. Uh, you suck. Mm, just pick a date for the fake wedding, damn it. Fine. 
June 7th. There. Uh, thank you, Nissa. Kink Shane the Zombies. Right. Thank you, Grim Wolf. There was the bang. Thank you, Sir Dubbington. Uh, catch you next time. Bye. Thank you, Death. Zombie King. Red Wings. Ew. Everyone hates that team. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Hipples. Thank you, Durst. Thank you, Francis. Province of Quebec in Canada. You can drink at 18. The USC is 21. 18 and drink and do drugs. I'm really wasting daylight here. I gotta move. Um, thank you, Tabby. You're a magnet for bad things in my Oregon Trail. You've broken your arm twice and got bitten by a snake. You should teach that snake a lesson. Make it a belt. Uh, did you play a snake in a game this week? I did. We played Snake Pass or whatever it was. go. Uh, thank you, Nissa. I laugh. Trust me. Best answer ever. He would. Yeah. Thank you, Peggy Lexay. I think of some disturbing zombie kinks involving a jawless zombie and oral. A jawless zombie? No, you need a bottom jaw. Otherwise, you're just like, you're not even, it's, it's I guess, it's sort of still gumming. You're just like, oh. Not good. I mean, you have to get rid of the teeth, too. Maybe you can get if the jaw is gone, you just maybe use the esophagus, because then that I can see how that would work. That's your bad sex advice for the evening. Remove the jaw. Just go straight down the esophagus. Thank you. What about my cape? Visiting UMass tomorrow and I have to make a college decision in two weeks. I don't want to. It's growing up scary. No, growing up is awesome. Here's the thing. Yes, on the one hand, it's scary at first. Then you realize, wait a minute. I'm the master of my own destiny now. I can make all the bad decisions I want. As long as I learn from them, it's great. Thank you, Grim Wolf. Zombie kink. Necrophilia. Nope, still just wrong. They seem to be way into the living, right? Can you please stop? Never! Thank you, Bear Run. Thank you, Rogue Spear. Thank you, Celiac. Silank. Silank. There you go. Alright. So still very early on day two. I think there's a good chance we could actually make it pretty good ways this day. Because I've got food and water. And I'm pretty good on both. I've got a decent weapon set. We're in pretty good shape here. Thank you, Ashley. Zombie dead throating. Oh, ugh. That is worse. I really didn't think about the implications of that. Thank you, Buck Rocker. You will not speak ill of the Red Wings. <laughs> I, 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 that's, it's hockey, right? I'm not even 100% on that. <laughs> Thank you, Peg Lake Sailor. Jawless zombie equals true deep throat. Ah! At what point are you just fucking a stomach? Sorry. <laughs> I usually try to stay a little bit cleaner than that, but come on. Who am I kidding? Thank you, Altair. Just remember that being an adult doesn't mean there's nobody to tell you that a three-pound cheese isn't dinner. It just means that now it's your job. It's true. It's very true. Oh, what should we eat? Mm, sure. That'll fill me up. Buttercup, don't break my heart. I walked through a puddle and didn't fill up my jars. That! I mean, not the smart person. I don't know why I backed off of that one. I think he's just more of a de-hinged jaw. I can't even... Wait, I just realized that would work. Yeah. Right? I'm going to be honest. It's not something that bears a lot of thought. You probably just want to go ahead and avoid it if at all possible. There's nothing a little brain bleach wouldn't clear out at this point. But it can really go down a rabbit hole you don't want to go down. Uh, darn it, I just ate. Great thing about yucca is you can just keep popping them in your mouth when your food's a little bit low and you get uh, food and stamina. Thank you, Peg Lake Sailor. Navy warped my mind. Uh, you can definitely get, get to stomach fucking with some. <laughs> just push through the right. Oh, God, no, you took it too far. Or did you? Or did you not take it too far enough? At what point. Alright, sensitive ears, just go ahead and plug them up now. 
Go ahead. That's your warning. Five, four, three, two, one. At what point are you just doing anal from the other side? <laughs> I mean, there's two ways to get there, apparently. <laughs> you can take your fingers out of your ears now. It's good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you, Ashley. I mean, deep throat, not dead. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, you maybe you should get that checked out. You really wanged it good. Ah, damn it, we found an inland sea. Time to stroll around it. Uh, zombie King with actual skin. Thank you, Mojang. Uh, hmm, interesting. With actual skin. Thank you, Death. Uh, checked out a game called Hollow Knight and found that PS4 controllers connect to PC. They do, yes. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Egg Clan is back. Uh, uh, Age know that a lit furnace attracts special zombies. Love the stream. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh, good. We're going dead west right now. And we're out of stamina again. How are we doing on food, life, existence things? Here, oh, I forgot where it is. Oh, we're really full. That's almost bad, actually. Because I can't do anything to get my stamina up. Thank you, Doc. Uh, you need to why you're my hero. I don't know if that's a compliment or the worst thing someone's ever said to me. Hey, Grimwolf. What, what? In the butt? What, what? Through the throat. What, what? To the butt. <laughs> hey, Nix. Anal from the other side is just deep throating. You know, you raise a great point because that is essentially the same tube. It does run all the way through you. You have an opening that runs from your mouth to your anus. Ah. Not the planet. The other end of you. Uh, that you actually, I mean, I guess it depends on how rotten the zombie is and how hard you're. This. We've opened a real can of worms here, which is what you might call ah. a zombie vagina, I guess. Oh, God, what am I doing? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right to call me out. It's, it's bad. I'm real bad. Thank you, does it? Ow! I, could, I deserve that cactus. It's, the cactus is kink shaming me. Don't let it kink shame me. Uh, thank you, Release the Fury. You turn this car around. If I had a car, it would take me a lot less time to get to Oregon. Thank you, Captain. Showed a very, very interesting time. It's, there's, let it not be said that it was uh, at least not uh, interesting. How about that? There we go. I'm carrying around a jug of dirty water. Um, thank you, Freckles. Never change. Haywood never change. Will do. Thank you, Zazmoro. This is why Haywood is my favorite. I'm terrible. <laughs> thank you, Trina Bunny. Neko, uh, necro, Greek Necros Corpse. Bio. I'll take that, sure. Greek Bios, of course, human life. So, Biophilia. Why am I looking this up? I just... I couldn't answer that question if I wanted to. Mm, we're going to take a little north detour here. Thank you, Pegleg. Are you sorry? You're not, and it's okay. We all we all embrace. Look, this is a place for everybody, even people like us. Uh, thank you, Bear Run. Can we close the can, please? Bury it in the center of the sun. <laughs> Uh, there you actually are completely bringing this on yourself and that bonk on the head. The little filter I had is gone. I mean, I know that I am the cause of most of my problems in life, yes. Thank you, Peg Lake Sailor. Thank you, Moj. Isn't Jeremy's anniversary of joining age coming up soon? Uh, I mean, we don't really track it in uh, years so much as scars, physical and emotional. So he's probably on like year two or three at this point. I mean, the cheek alone is like... An anniversary. Uh, thank you, Ray. If you use the whole one tube thought, humans are basically just a giant meat donut. It's true. It's 
Sammy. Uh oh, what, what advice is Sammy going to take? Because I can't imagine it's good. Ah! Thank you, Indy Gal. Let him live. What does that mean? Sweet Eagles reference there, Cheryl. We're all just prisoners here of our own device. Man, I really thought this was closer. So to remember, some dance to forget. Thank you, Sorcerer. You are just bags of meat doing things most bags of meat aren't normally able to do. It's true. We're quite ambulatory for meat meat bags. Hmm. I'll read your literature, but I don't think it's going to be any use to me. Scrap it. Scrap it. Scrap it. Man, the Eagles did a lot of good stuff. I sometimes forget how many amazing things that they, or how many amazing songs they made. Ooh, we're getting definitely into that, the witching hour, where we might start looking for a place to not be eaten by zombies at night. This may be the first two true uh, test of this experiment. Unless we can find a house. I like to see that's the, what I like, really like about this idea though. Because that's the kind of decision that we're going to have to make when we're doing this. Is Do we push on? Like when we find a house, at what point do we stop? Alright. I mean that looked like it ate you. Come back here. I have plenty of food. Why am I chasing this? Uh, thank you, Grim Wolf. How deep does this kink hole go? Giggity. Whoa, deer. I mean, literally, like a deer. I'm not very good at shooting deer. Just zombies. Is the zombie going for the deer? You're from Georgia, too, I see. Missed it. I just Something in me doesn't want to kill this deer. I don't really listen to that part of me that often. Uh, hey, Tabby, I'm so sorry that you just died during the journey. Or, no, I did not. I came back as a zombie and I ate everyone else on the way there. Thank you, Cobalt. Thank you, Kizumi. Tommy Change, uh, you're on your way to Oregon, right? When are you going to Fort River? I, I forded one a little bit ago, sort of. I didn't, I didn't caulk the wagon, though. Thank you, Sage. Last good time in town. I'd probably recognize it, but it, the, I'm terrible with the names of songs. I'll look it up in a minute. Thank you, Altair. Don't scrap books. They give you skill points. Uh, I didn't scrap it. I read it. Right, was that me or him? Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, Peg Leg. Depends on how deep the pile of zombies go. Oh. Thank you, Orgasms. Oh, there's a house. Eee, but it's still early. I'm going to stab this pig with the bone of another pig. I'm putting it back in the pork. Okay, he got away. Uh, uh, all right, you win this round, Porky. Uh, do you know I used to live near one of the places that claim to have inspired Hotel California? It's an abandoned mental hospital in the social in SoCal, Southern Cal. Uh, creepiest place I've ever seen. I can believe that if it's the inspiration for that song. Thank you, Cheryl, Desperado, Tequila Sunrise, One of Those Nights, Witchy Woman, Hotel California, Take It to the Limit. They're your evil, favorite eagle songs. Nice. Thank you, Katie. You're welcome. I've picked your fake wedding date. I, I think if you're trying to do it for a visa, you should probably stop referring to it as your fake visa wedding. I'm going to guess that I, uh, you know, immigration's going to catch on if you keep calling it that. You might want to certainly avoid putting that on the wedding license. I guess. Stop it. You're not going to hit me. Okay. My ability to shoot women in the head has greatly diminished. By the way, I do want to mention something real quick about uh, that Let's Play we did earlier today, the one in the Catch a Lover. Um, there may be some... Uh, Elements of the game that are... E Let's not sugarcoat it. It's basically domestic abuse in the sense that the husband can just knock the 
the, the wife's job is to kind of get in the way, and the husband can just knock her the hell out. Uh, we do make use of that mechanic in that video, though I do repeat several times throughout the course of the video that you should not club your wife person over the head, or, you know, anybody really, just don't hit people. Uh, just be aware of that when you watch that video. Uh, but when she falls down, it's real funny looking. Also, it's a, it's a kind of game where you can look down and see your own body, so I may have gotten distracted by the fact that I had boobs for a couple minutes. I, you know, I'm putting it out there. It was an experience I wasn't expecting to have. I took a minute to appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Zabeda. I didn't stick the port from behind just started gasping weed. And going to keep... ah, thank you, Ashley. Man, I'm just an achievement uh, gift that doesn't stop giving. Uh, right, they are. I mean, thank you, Bob. Pretty sure if you follow the trail from the house, you can make it to another city before nightfall. Oh, that's a good point. And this was not a great house to have raided anyway. Thank you, Kojak. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't really need that. I'm walking around with a lot of food, and I'm not hungry. Go ahead and eat that, just get out of the way. I'm just gonna dump the sandwiches. I don't think I'm going to need this wrench. Uh, thank you, Almost Famous Katrina. Thank you, Hipples. Forgot to move the cup. You're right, I did. Sorry. I'll get on that in just a minute. To, uh, next night time, I'll move the cup. I picked up two things. I'm working hard to get rid of stuff in my inventory, and then I just picked up superfluous things immediately. Uh, thank you, Bear Run. Where Gavin asked you, will you shoot your wife every day? Because I sure do. Wait, what? Remember that let's play where Gavin asked if you'd be willing to shoot your wife every day, because I sure do. Sure. I I do remember that, actually, yes. Is there a path? I don't see a path from this house. But you know what? We're just going to go west. we got several more hours in this day. We're going to go west, and just... That's part of this test, is to find out what you could do in an emergency situation. I'm going to start making some wood frames for an emergency dwelling. I should really chop down another tree at some point. The one advantage to doing this with a group will be there will be a bunch of people that can uh, chop down trees simultaneously, so you end up with a lot more wood. Thank you, Playing With Fire. Uh, been watching the stream. Just came to watch. Thanks. Thanks for coming hanging out. Uh, thank you, Oxy. Lover equals Owen Pitt. Wife equals Julie Shackelford. Husband, Grant Jefferson. Oh, I see. Are you doing like a rundown of the uh, Monster Hunter characters there. Get it. Uh, thank you, Release Fury there. Distracting. Also hard to see over. I often get stuff on my apron that I don't see until it gets pointed out. <laughs> I mean, I assume that when you're you're gifted with them by life, you probably it's no longer distracting. Uh, I like to think that if uh, someone that didn't s spawn, let's say, uh, with the penis was to look down and discover one, it would probably be equally distracting. Hey, Grimwolf, when's Ancelotta night? Eh. Get around to it. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Carrie. Distracted by a woman in video games, something new and different for you. Eh. Look. Nah, still super distracting. Thank you, Carrie. It, I, it, it, it is. I mean, she's a nice-looking wife. Hey, another house. And do we try for another one, though? All right. Oops. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, see? No, okay. Well, it's good to know that it's not just me. Uh, drink some of that. Damn it, I'm full again. Uh, thank you, Tashik. Uh, I missed some subs for donates. So I'll catch those in just a second. Um... The New Yorkisms, I should specify that Hotel California was written. It was active, but it's closed before I moved in. Fair. Thank you, Bear Run. Is there going to be a point where you successfully finish singing a song? No. I barely ever start uh, with the intent of finishing. Did I fall in a hole that I just made? 
Thank you, Release Fury. Can confirm their distracting hard CR. Oh, wait, I got that one already. Thank you. I think I missed some further down. There are a lot of people talking about boobs. Thank you, Emotional Panda. There we go. Pretty sure I've been sub for over two months. I'm pretty sure you have two. Thank you, Tiny Bear. Uh, Tomb Raider was an experience for you, wasn't it? Look, you can't look down in Tomb Raider. It's a big difference between, like, oh, I'm third person, there's a whole person. It's when you're in first person, you just go, like, that it's a little different. <gasps> That's another house that might have a forge in it. Alright, let's clear this thing out. More, oh, except that now I have this mouse cursor in the middle of the screen. Not ideal. Whoops, missed that one. There we go. Level up. Should really start using some of those points. Missed. Idiot. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Nessa. Get distracted by my chest daily so I get where you're coming from with the Tomb Raider thing. See? You know what? You guys are making me feel much better about that. I was like, you know, I'm a 36-year-old man. I should be at the point in my life where uh, I'm not immediately distracted. Truth is, you're just never too old. Okay. Boobs and butts are a great conversation starter. <laughs> Food game has been real strong so far. Miss somebody else. Thank you, Bob. That house should have forge in it. You wrench it and take it with you. You can wrench those? That's great to know. Thank you, Bob. Uh, thank you, Kojak. Looking forward to Let's Play Live. Baltimore and tips for meet and greet. I, it's pretty standard social interaction. I think. I'm about to get taken in the rears. Phrasing. Ooh, really let her get it right up on it. Thank you, Ray. They're getting distracted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop sneaking up on me. Uh, thank you, Katie. I'm hoping immigration. Don't leave any of that. Uh, God, I've got too, so much junk. Immigration will look past the fake visa part of the wedding. Yeah. I don't want to try running with boobs. I feel like that is even even worse. Because then they're coming for you, right? They're just like... Thank you, uh, Lancian. Alright, we got lots of wood. Phrasing. Uh, thank you, Zesmoro. Oh, by the way, we're... In process of swapping out the uh, llama emote, in case you're wondering why it's not there. Camera paper. Right. I need to make some. Wow, do I really not have any more iron than that? Where did I just put that? real lucky with these forges but knowing being the wrench being able to pick it up would be amazing so got a few more hours left is that clay nope definitely don't want sand thank you Art Dave and thank you Grimwolf bits for jiggle physics also a big thing I don't know how many of you may have seen the uh There's a, a some guy working on or a company working on some uh, stuff for the Switch, and he's like holding in one hand what looks like basically 
breast implants. On the other hand, the Switch controller. I think he's trying to emulate the feel of boobs somehow. I just, I'm, I'm a little unclear on exactly how that's supposed to work. What with the fact that it's more of a weight issue than it's just like you don't know, you don't really think of it as like the vibration of it as it's like oozing around your hand or something. I don't know. That you actually. You really want that wood tonight? Yeah, I guess so. Thank you, Mad King Chris. Thank you, Global Defense Industries. Uh, thank you, Zazmoro. Uh, can we ask if guys are distracted by themselves as well? Who's with me, guys? Uh, I mean... I'm not... Because usually it's like... Boobs are, are right up here next to your face. The rest of that stuff's down there. In an area where... There are lots of other... Uh, shapes so it's not quite as as jump out at you I wouldn't think but hey you know what if you're distracted by whatever you got going on down there more power to you thank you Ty and Gmaw my ultimate panda corn there's another, another panda the pandas continue to multiply I swear I should have... Oh, wait. Let's get one of those and then scrap these. Really no reason to do that other than I just feel better. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to have to make another anvil. And I bet I don't have enough iron for it. Because <clears throat> I was dumb. I could try and sneak out in the night. It's not a great idea. I have got water for days. I almost have too much water. Okay, what can I get rid of? Definitely get rid of that. Get rid of that. These are not really that good, so I'm going to get rid of them. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's kind of useless. If I'm having to actually prune through food, that means I'm doing really well. I'm going to do some sorting here. This is starting to bug me. Uh, these are food. Eh, very dehydrating, but still not bad. Okay, weaponry. Things to make weaponry. Had some first aid kits. There they are. Things. To, God, I've got a lot of feathers. All right, I'm gonna have to sneak out and get some iron. Hopefully, when I take that apart, it'll actually. a rock. Need a rock. Need a rock. Need a rock. It's not a rock. Ooh. No, it's lead. Hopefully no zombies around. Uh, thank you, sl <laughs> Sloppy Karate. Karate. I like to tuck my shirt under my boobs, Sammy says. What does that mean? <laughs> Just like roll them up right here? What you're saying, Sam, is you like to show off the abs. <laughs> it's so much fun. I didn't realize it was... You're really making me... Uh, start to be jealous of the boobs. It sounds like they're a really good time for... The people that own them, too. Thank you, Lottie. You know, Roman Emperor Gaius made his beloved horse a senator. I did not know that. <laughs> I got a shirt in my bra right now. Nice, Caitlin. Just 
going to sneak around out here getting some iron. Don't mind me. <laughs> Are we selling you on the boobs? Look, I've always been pro boobs. Thank you say boobs suck. Don't let them fool you. I mean, they're like anything else, right? They got pros and cons. Uh, male genitalia is the same way. Definitely got some upsides, but at the same time, it's a little floppy occasionally. That's not a good thing to get caught in stuff, like zippers. Unless you're wearing a lot of uh, things that zip up over here, you're probably never going to catch a nip in a in a zipper, which uh, you know a scrotum is just like begging for. Look, these are real conversations that people need to have, okay? Thank you, Lisa Fury. Boarding class and you use them as pillows. Ha <laughs> Thank you, Zazmoro. Two words, back problems. I do hear that that's an issue, yes. I feel like there's a dinosaur somewhere next to me. Thank you, Bob. Hope you'll make it to a city of point out the bunkers. I've been in a bunker before, actually. The uh, the silos, you mean? Or the... Um... I can't remember if what game it was in. I think it was in... It's on the server. The Seven Days to Die server. One of its incarnations. I actually spent some time in a bunker. Well, that's not great. Where'd it go? I had a torch. I tried to put it on the wall and it just disappeared. All right, well. Drop that in there. Make me iron arrowheads. Thank you, Aaron. A lot of the good thing about boobs make a great purse when clubbing. You know? Okay, sure. Uh, man crotch, not so much. We, that's why we need the pockets. Maybe that's the difference. That's why girls' jeans never have good pockets. Because for dudes, it's like just shoving something right down there. No one wants it. Like when a girl pulls something out of here, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, a dude pulls something out from in here, it's like, no, that's that's yours. You 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 keep that one. Doesn't have the same je ne sais quoi. Ooh, it's a blueberry pie. My my blueberry pie. Oh, I can get rid of the beer. Uh, thank you, High Voltage. Fun fact, for a uh, time, women in Japan were required by law to wear bras in any building with air conditioning for fear that the erect nipples would be distracting to their male co-workers. Ah! What? What's distracting about this? You can point at things without using your hands. It's over there. I'm sorry for that. Ah! <laughs> uh... Thank you, Katie. One more thing that a lot of girls I know tend to do is that when they're looking for stuff or trying to remember stuff, you kind of just grab your boobs. No idea why. I don't. I didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, thank you, Carrie. Girls' jeans don't have pockets to sell as purses. That's. I like your conspiracy theory thought here. Ah! Thank you, Rogue Spear. Spin skill points. That's a great point. Ha. <laughs> made a bad joke by accident. Believe me, if it was on purpose, I would have claimed it. Let's throw some fire on there. And then that. Ah! that was actually a bad idea because a lot of that water I now I can't use. Uh, thank you! Ah, thank you, Caitlin. Pointing the boob lady in the Simpsons. Pointing like the boob lady in <laughs> Nice. Uh, thank you, Shane. That's the third time, time to, to, uh, tuning on a stream, and that's happened. 
What, which part? This part? Because I do, it seems like that's the first time I've done that. Thank you, Momo. Are you planning to have the birds and the bees talk with your children? That's what schools are for. I'm kidding. Uh, talk to your kids. Uh, thank you, Nissa. Pocket envy is real. Hate women's pants. Every now and again, you get that little fake pocket where it's just like, it's clearly supposed to be pocket, and then you put your hand in, and it's just like, thunk. You get an inch down. Thank you, Shane. It's to a previous bit cheer. Oh, 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 gotcha. Uh, and other, thank you again, Shane, uh, for I turn on to, I turn on, and you're talking about nips and scrotums with zippers, and now it's all and pants. Yeah. Look, these are the problems that we all face. You have to accept that. Thank you, Austin and Hob Hobbit. Spin points. Yes, I should. And we're caught up. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I wonder if I can, if I hit this button again, will that go away? All right, it's gone. Temporarily. Damn it. All right. It's bothering me, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it right now. Okay, skills. Let's see. Run, force, run, probably. You can only buy one. That's a shame. Uh, thank you, Ashley. More fun and free than buying a pair of jeans. Realizing that if you get home, they have fake pockets. I believe it. Thank you, Shane. That's why you're my favorite. I appreciate that. Mm, it's not if this is going to do me any good in getting somewhere. Scavenging could be good. Uh, thank you, Kayvon. I don't have a good enough PC to play this. I was wondering if the Xbox version worth paying money for is bad as you and a number of different ways. curious if it's sale mode. Um, I mean, it runs okay. They're still optimizing it. They've actually gotten it... Ooh, some frame drop there. Uh, they've gotten it better... Um, but it's... Ah! Thank you, Caitlin. Uh, check the pockets of hands, make sure they're real front. It is kind of sad that you have to do that, yes. Uh, I would... Mm, I, I haven't tried the Xbox version of Seven Days to Die recently. I'm not sure if it's worth it at this point or not. Oh, I'm going to get sexual Tyrannosaurus. Absolutely. I actually don't want to do... I may have food version I might do. Except I can't afford it anymore. Thank you, Bob. Invest heavily in scavenging early makes earning points easier in the long run. That's a good point, but for what I'm trying to do right now, scavenging isn't quite as important because I'm just trying to get to Oregon. Oregon. Gone. Oregon. Thank you, Carrie. Girls' pockets are smaller, so you can put things in that ruin the silhouette. Girls. You guys. Hey, girl. Does. Girls, you guys. Nice. Uh, Y'all need to get together and have a meeting on this. Thank you, Jumpy. Big chest women have the issue of accidentally punching yourself in the chest when rolling up sleeves. Really? I didn't even think about that. I can't. How does the mechanics on that work? Is it like an under... Ah. Thank you, Rogue. Do you know that woman's vagina lengthens and widens during sex to accommodate a penis? I did know that. Uh... How, yeah, how does the mechanics on that work? Do you have to, like... I'm trying to... I don't know how it would attack you. Uh, yeah, y'all need to get together as a form a union, or a pocket union or something, and, like, get that corrected, because this not having pockets thing really is for the birds. Because, you know, birds don't have pockets. Say, Shane. Uh, didn't notice any major problems. They were getting much better. It was better optimized the last time we tried it uh, than it ever had before been before. So maybe they're getting there. Taking, making this water into water was probably not a great idea. Now at that point, might as well let it do it. Fix the cheer cup. Though it's not really that important that you see that stuff down there, to be honest. Thank you, Katie. Katie was surprised how many guys don't know that being hit in the boob really hurts. Talking about strong stuff, or storing stuff in bras earlier, boob money is gross. If you're going to not do that, would be great. Look, I'm not saying that it's ideal. Still better to put it in pocket, but compared to crotch money, I feel like we can agree that it's 
it's at least better than that. Thank you, Top Hat Hero. Thank you, Mojay. Serious question and random. What exactly is APR and how does it how does a mortgage work? Uh, moving to my own place soon. Don't understand real estate. That is a lot of question, and it's one probably better suited to Joel. I am not great at that either. I should drink that one just because it'll get a spot clear. Except that now I'm full on everything. Uh, thank you, Nix. Here's some of the chest because your chest is well endowed. And the second you reach an arm across your body, you hit yourself. Hold on, I'm doing the CSI on this stuff. Uh, hit yourself as you roll the sleeve up. You just choke yourself. Okay, so it's like getting him. Okay, it's it's like a judo thing. Thank you, Darth Snuggles. The lack of good pockets causes ladies to resort to storing stuff in your in their bras. I can't be the only one who does this, right? No, you're definitely not, because that's part of this conversation. It's just, okay, Emma. Okay, you guys need to decide if it's out or in. Here we go. For some reason, Emma loves being in here. Um, and thank you, Dan Overboard, beautiful Twitch baby. Uh, oh, right. APR, I'm, yeah, I, I, I wish I could tell you more about it, but it's you definitely want a better explanation than I could give. I know, all I know is that it has to do with how... Okay, come on. Come on. How uh, interest is accrued. Thank you, the Mega Queen. Only wear shit with real pockets. Fuck the fake shit, is what I'm guessing. It's asterisks, but I'm going to assume that that's what it is. Because you can't type it, but I can say it for some reason. Thank you, Laws. Uh, worst moment is when you go to put a whole handful of coins into a fake pocket and only succeed in scattering them all over the floor instead. That is actually terrible. <laughs> Thank you, actually. As a woman who doesn't like carrying a purse, is also cursed with fake tiny pockets. I'm lucky to have been blessed with large boobs so I can at least have bra room for stuff. Why don't you just have bras with actual pockets in them at this point? It seems like you might as well. You're having to use it for that purpose anyway. Due to, I guess, some kind of labor dispute with the pocket union. Oh, I'm missing to make iron arrows. Oh, wait. No. All right, now I have arrows for days. All right, so how do I wrench this bitch out? There's... Yeah. All right. I'm... Wow, this is gonna take forever. This is gonna pick up the forge, you say? Uh, thank you, actually. Do you realize a regular bra runs you about 50, 150 bucks? Can you imagine how much they try to jack the price for one of the pockets? I don't know that this forge is worth... No, it's not. It's day three. We gotta get to Oregon before the seventh day comes. Uh, I feel like I missed someone in all of that. Okay. I guess not. Okay. If I missed someone, I'm sorry. Off to a stellar start day three. It is very wet. Let's see what we... This has been our path thus far. That doesn't look like much. Thank you, Eyes Billow. Rose and Gods and Pockets. Pros, Pocket Sand uh, used as defensive mechanism. Absolutely true. That's a good thought. I'm glad you went there because Pocket Sand is very important. Uh, cons. Pocket sand is annoying. It is. It really gets under your nails. It's grimy. It doesn't feel good. It's rough. It's scratchy. It gets in everything. Especially your phone. It rubs it right clean. Thank you, Nelly Noodle. All but break the forge with the axe and wrench the last bit. Gotcha. I, I should make iron and then make a pickaxe. I'd probably knock it out pretty quick. Thank you, Release Fury. But at the same time, again, travel being... Ow! The important part right now. I don't know that it matters. Uh, I've got a buttload of arrows now, so, and I'm not planning on really getting in a protracted fight if I can avoid avoid it. Right now, I've got food. I got arrows. I got water. I don't need to stop other than for day night or day night daylight going away. I'm gonna kill a bunch of zombies just because uh, it helps me. Um, level up so I can get points so I can get my athletic skill up. Uh, thank you, Bob. Are you planning on assembling a mini bike or pure walking at the end? I mean, 
That's part of why I wanted to do this, is because I don't know how long it's going to take. Because it's a limited size world, I mean, it's possible that it's something where I could... Well, obviously I haven't done it in three days. So, and I've been streaming now for about two hours, so we definitely have a Let's Play here. Uh, but now I just want to know how long will it take to get there. Because that could really change how this goes. Now it's already to the point where it might be like a multi-part thing. I really hate that that cursor is in the middle of the screen. Uh, thank you, Katie. I buy guys jeans because pockets not being tight. I'm told I wear worse dad jeans than you. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew someone was out there that did. Um, girl jeans suck. Also, as an Irish dancer, boobs are just inconvenient. Uh, you missed earlier where I gave Maya a hug and a kiss. Um, and yes, I imagine anything that goes up and down a lot, they could be really unpleasant to deal with. Oh, what do you guys think? Is there a video on this? Now remember, this is a much different experience than what it would be with all of us. One, food would be a lot harder, a lot more scarce because there'd be more of us to feed and drink. Uh, and two, um, it's going to be a lot more about the dynamics of keeping a group of people alive and working together uh, than what I've been doing here. I mean, I'm pretty confident we could we could make a video in this, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mary. Uh, thank you, Zazmoro. We told you to buy a bra that can, store, that can store goon in it and has a straw. I don't know what that means. Ah! Cacti. Ah! Thank you, Grim Wolf. The bits for the mouse cursor. You've got fans. Now it just needs a name. Thank you, Mojay. I approve of a Let's Play. Thank you. I'm glad. I'd watch it. Good. Goon is box twine. Good to know. Thank you. That helped, Dimitri. Uh, thank you, Oxy. Sometimes I think girls' boob purse is like a cartoon purse where there's nothing inside is nothing but a void with limitless items. Well, yeah, it's it's the uh, bottomless bag essentially. Except when you get to the bottom, there's a boob there. <laughs> thank you, Darth Snuggles. Chat tonight has confirmed my experience that if you get more than one woman together, the conversation will inevitably turn to boobs and pockets. Good work. There you go. I didn't realize we were doing a social experiment, but it turns out we were. Uh, thank you, Release Fury. Okay, we have the issue where people like my sister are blessed with good quality $20 bras from Walmart, whereas I spend $50 on a bra at Macy's and it falls apart in a month. I have the problem with socks, but I know it's not really equivalent. Um... Thank you, Tuku. Joel needs to have a finance show as Caboose. Would not be that different to Joel having a finance show as Joel. Thank you, Zazmoro. Caitlin said the bra with Goon is called the Wine Rack. Oh, God. That's good. That's, that's solid marketing right there. It says what it does. Thank you, Shane. I think guys can make a video out of anything. I fuel. Oh, God. And we still got to do a fuel video. Thank you, Sunning in Purple. I'm sure you are. Um... Turns out I've not been able to track down PC copies of Fuel, so we may have to do it again on the Xbox. There's like two of them available on Amazon, uh, and they're in a foreign country. Thank you, Mega Queen. What's the thing about Oregon? I get the reference, but purpose. I'll prove the video. So the point is to make this like Oregon Trail. I am seeing if I can just run to the western westernmost part of this map. If I can get there without... See, I'm not building a base. I'm just, like, moving. I'm staying mobile. Uh, and I'm curious to see if that's a, a way to play this game. I mean, typically, Seven Days to Die, we played it before, where we have always bunkered down. And you just work on building a base, and you build infrastructure, and you get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then you're just bunkered in. What we're doing here is seeing if you can do this like a journey-type video, where we've got to work together, get somewhere, and if you die, I think you're out. Because you're going to spawn somewhere far away, I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Katie. Goon is boxed wine. It's good for playing Goon Fortune in the background. Does Thin's conversation mean, or this conversation mean one of the girls now? Um, I'm part of the Gab crew. You practically started a support group about boobs. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? More power to you. Uh, by the way, thank you. Oops, that was the wrong button. <gasps> No, I was hoping it would get rid of the cursor. It did not. I feel like I missed someone else. 
Dedicated to Mary, got it, okay. All these sequoias. At least they're not the little bitty things anymore. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Commercialism has really got you ladies in a bind, though, doesn't it? I mean, dude underwear is really not that expensive. I mean, lately I've been uh, really enjoying the... And I'm not saying this because they're a sponsor. They're legitimately very comfortable. The uh, Also, I can't remember the name of them, so that's how you know it's not sponsored. But <laughs> the, whenever the underwear fairy shows up at work and gives me a free pair of underwear, they're very comfortable. I feel like I should look and see what they are real quick because it's only fair considering I'm wearing them for free. Uh, MeUndies, thanks. <laughs> Saved me from having to pull my underwear out on stream. Thanks. Uh, let me see what else. Thank you, OJ. Finding these simple shampoos and nightmare too many additives and expensive. Uh, that pretty much goes for everybody. <laughs> Sometimes Trevor's the underwear fairy. Sometimes he's not. It's not always. It's a rotating uh, position. I'm not sure ah! uh, how the underwear fairy is selected. Uh, I don't know if they need to leave like a cod piece under their pillow at night. They wake up the underwear fairy or what, but. Ow. Hey, Bob. Starvation would be perfect for this. Let's play. You don't have to monitor food, drink with sanity, and rest as much of extra critters. That's interesting. So it's kind of more like um, don't starve then. It does seem right now like this playthrough has been too easy. Other than the food thing would be a much bigger problem. Thank you, Grim Wolf. Double my mouse cursor, cursor, Bartholomew, with the last of my bits. Very well, Bartholomew has gone with us on this journey. Uh, thank you, says more of some bogans hang goon bags on the hill ho hills hoist and swing it around. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yes. Is the hill? No, I don't know. Thank you, Mega Queen. One of the only girls, people who does not experience all these troubles, and not sure if she'll be worried. Now, apparently, that just means that your uh, boobs know their place. It's, uh, some of them are just very well mannered. Thank you, Caitlin. And you move your cheer cup. I can't really move it easily. Hold on. Let me know if I'm about to get uh, murder, murder, murderized. Cheer cup. Okay, maybe you're over. How about right there? And then Booker is just gone. Stop it now. Ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ah. Damn it. It's stuck in my head. Uh, ow. It does seem like the zombie spawns have really gotten low. Maybe part of that is because I haven't run into a city or something. I sort of want more danger. And it, I feel like you're, what you're offering me here, Bob, is, is more danger. On the NPC bandits. Ow! I'm down to 84 health, and it's not because I've run into anything other than myself. Hydrate. Really, that's all the health I got back? we got here? Yeah, we might as well eat. Seemed like that had a use. Gain stamina. There we go. Eat some of that. Go, 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 go. There we go. My, my max wellness has gone up. This has been the most successful uh, first three days I think I've ever had. I'm wanting for nothing. I made use of a forge without having to ever actually build a forge. I've entered the Iron Age by chance. I don't need that. I have 200 iron arrows. 
Thank you, Nelly. Uh, starvation mod. Uh, I'm sure you can tame a donkey to use as extra. Ah! Damn it, cactus. Extra sword to help you. Nomadic experience. That's the word I've been looking for literally all night. Nomadic. <sighs> Some days your brain just doesn't show up to play. Play Timmons got killed by a croc. Alright. You know what? I'm very intrigued by this idea. And I feel like I'm going to make it to that house. And maybe I'll, I'm going to try and find this mod real quick. Install it. And take it for a quick test drive. Maybe that's how we'll close this out. Because I don't... I don't seem to be getting to the edge of the world, which is good. That means that this is actually something where it's going to be dangerous, but it needs to be more dangerous. I'm... whoops. I feel like I'm too good at this game now to play it like this uh, with a reasonable challenge. Uh, thank you, Katie. I hope you feel more educated about boobs. I mean, you can always learn more, right? There's never a point in my life where I think I'll ever go, you know what, I've I've learned everything I need to learn about a boob. Uh, Hill's Hoist is a type of washing line. Last minute dance rehearsal. Oh, bye Katie. I knew you'd fall down. Uh, thank you, Mojay. Will there be more Sky Factory? Uh, yeah, as long as we, we'll keep doing Sky Factory, as long as I can keep coming up with little things to accomplish. That's really the main thing. Is you know, once you get to a certain point, you've basically made it so you're just playing regular Minecraft again, and at that point is where we will probably abandon ship on it. So, as long as I can keep coming up with little sub objectives to kind of drive us forward. Um, Hey, Iron Pickaxe. Uh, then we'll probably keep playing it. So have you guys got any recommendations for things you would like us to try and achieve? Or blueberry pie? Uh, please let me know, because part of it is just following the little achievements in the book, too, is a good start. But uh, Thank you, Penguin. Have see how far I've come on the map. Alright, so... I can't move on without that open. This is what we've done. That's when I went to get the airdrop. That's where I stopped and made that bed. And that's where we started. So, oh, wait, here we go. I can do this. Quick waypoint. I've gone 8.2 kilometers. I bet if you someone did some quick research, which I clearly did not, uh, someone would actually know what the... Uh, distance in kilometers it is from the start point to the edge of reality. I'm just killing you for skill points. How does that feel? Thank you, Nix. Creating the Tower of Pimps. Ooh, that's a good one. I have to make gold somehow. That's usually our goal. Eventually. I feel like the, the mouse cursor adds an interesting effect or not. come on Haywood to the aiming because now I'm just like ow ow, ow stupid cactuses in flustered there we go settle in find the aim aim with your heart Haywood not with your head use the force much better don't care. Don't care. That's the other advantage of having a bunch of people is you can spread out and take some of the stuff if it's easier. Take some honey. It's made of honey. There, and really the only thing about boobs is shirts. Girls' shirts are stupid. I, girls' clothing seems to have some issues. Again, y'all need to get together and you know, form kind of a coalition of have a meeting, you know, something like that. To the west. Ooh, looks like we're going to go into a Lakeland. Uh, thank you, Nix. Honestly, in goal for Tower of Pimps. Uh, thank you, Altair. I'm trying to write female characters. Honestly, how do boobs work is always my biggest question. 
it does seem like they would really alter what you could do in some situations, right? Megan is a... Uh, I said Nomad Nomadic at least four times at the beginning of the stream, you goober. I try and play it, pay it, play, pay attention, play attention. But there's only so much I can look at with one set of eyes. My special eyes. Um, did I catch every question? Okay. I know I said I would stop there, but it's only noon. My brand. Look, I'm just trying to get you ladies organized. That's all I can say. This is uh, I'm I'm trying to support the female cause. You need to def really start demanding equal pocket treatment. See, that's here's the problem. You're not you're having problems getting equal pay because you're not getting equal pockets to put the pay in. If you had equal pockets, the pay would come with it because then they would be like, "Look how empty that pocket is. It needs more money." Step one, pockets. Step two, the rest of equality. Thank you, Moj. <laughs> You're welcome, Freckles. Glad I could help. Look, I'm not giving you permission. I'm giving you ideas, you know? an idea man. I'm a hype man. Uh, let's see. Boy, it's hot. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a bunny rabbit. Freckles getting mad because you can't think of ideas yourself. Look, all I'm saying is when I put my hand in my pocket, my hand disappears. Did you need the idea? I don't know. But you can't see my hand. <laughs> Hopefully you all know that I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Seems possible to go random. Uh, go in. Uh, it seems possible to infinitely go in random gen. It's not recommended for performance reasons. The default limit is 10k from the center. Okay, so that means I should almost be there. Thank you, Johnny Storm. Uh, when do I propose? <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. All right, look. Everyone knows that the ladies win. This is there's still some societal problems we got to work out, but in the long run, you still are, are largely the deciders when it comes to a lot of things. At the end of the day. One of the two people in my relationship got to name a daughter. <laughs> and it was not me. <laughs> Thank you, Bear Run. Cop just knocked on the door to my apartment, tried to force his way and claim he was harboring a fugitive. Were you harboring a fugitive? <laughs> Seems like that's boys are gross, Sage. You're right. Thank God this isn't Breath of the Wild or I would have just drowned when I ran out of things. Thank you, Kevin. By the way, I missed a few there. Thank you, Mega Queen. Hey, for the Pocket Equality Coalition. Stay strong. Stay deep. 
Thank you, Cheryl. Look, if I'm going to protest something, it's not going to be pockets. <laughs> Thank you, Rosina. Look, as an aspiring fashion designer, I promise to work on the pocket issue. Good. Trademark. Clo clothing problems in the future. I got y'all. We're fighting in Baltimore. Allison, you're not allowed to fight me because I picked your wedding day. So there. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Moj. Build a proper house with a symmetrical farm for trees. You have a weird floor and a nice house. Oh, anyway, for Sky Factory, yeah. Um, let me see anybody else. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Allison got a message deleted. I can only assume that what she said was, "You're so right, Ryan. That was very sweet of you to pick my wedding date." Apparently, uh, also, I'm totally not going to fight you because uh, your amazing rightness was was so incredible. That's probably what that said, right? <laughs> and probably a lot of very other uh, friendly, happy things. Thank you, Ashley. Just trying to remember how to replace ink in my printer. It hurts so much to do, right? Hey, with the wedding planner. I mean, look, I was called upon. I didn't. I didn't choose to be one. I was chosen. Thank you, phenomena. Thank you, really Fury. I'll fight you in Baltimore. I'll pelt bath bombs until you actually use one. I don't think that's how bath bombs work, but I'll take your uh, your version since you're the expert. Thank you, Release the Fury. Uh, thank you, Katie. Oh, I'm glad that you think I'm awesome. I'm hopefully I'm not legitimately angering anyone. I'm very tongue in cheek about all this. I'm totally pro lady. That's uh. I come across. I have problems sometimes coming across as too too negative, but it's just because snark is really how I deal with everything. If I'm usually if I'm unhappy about something, you can tell because I will start mocking it in one way or another. It's kind of a inner bitterness, really. <laughs> Pro lady sounds dirty. Look, now you're projecting. Thank you, Almighty uh, Guptel and Altair. Do the very nature of professions, uh, where the bad houses organize a long term social takeover. I mean, it's possible we, we could organize. This is really my long play for running for president in 2020. Uh, Donald Trump has taught me that anyone can do it, so. I'm not going to run in, as a Republican or Democrat, though. I'm going to run as a rational human. We'll see if that flies. It's that's a time who uh, that's a an idea whose time may have already passed. Oh sure, I'll take some cash. Let me just stuff. Whoa, stuff it in my boot pocket. All right. So if it's 10k from the center, assuming that I spawned in the center, which I may not have, it would be weird not to, but. Like, you could just randomly spawn on the edge of the reality. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Yes, indeed, Sass. Thank you, JB. That's nearly infinite far greater than 10k away, man. Suggest that in the Let's Play, you ramp up the difficulty and survive until everyone almost die. That's that's my plan, yeah. Actually, there's some people asking why, like, I just offed everybody at the end of... Or I killed Jack and myself, essentially, at the end of the... Uh, the last let's play we did with the Bigfoot, uh, and it was pretty much for that reason. We had gotten, we weren't going to be able to kill him because we didn't have enough bullets. We couldn't pick up more bullets, uh, and Jeremy being dead. It's always rough when you're playing a game like that and you're dead and you can't respawn. You just have to sit there and kind of try and stay engaged in the video. And when there's only three of us. I mean, that just makes it really rough. So for the sake of the video, I just went ahead and pulled the ripcord on it. We weren't going to be able to kill Bigfoot in that run, so sometimes it's just better to. end it at a time when it's more opportune same reason actually that's literally the same reason in at the end of my heist 
uh, in GTA, why I turned on Ray was either way that would be the end of the heist, and it was just down to the two of us, and everyone else couldn't talk. Um, so I figured the best way to get out of that was just to uh, go ahead and have one of us polish off the other. I had forgotten how bad my heist failed until I started looking at them for plans for the... Uh, we've been talking about, well, rehashing some parts of heists for Let's Play Lives. <clears throat> well, yeah, it worked on so many way in so many levels because it was also a you know shout out to the original heist ending. Uh, it just worked on a lot of levels. So, oh, I'm glad I didn't break my leg. All right, what am I listening to, Allison? Uh, thank you, Bob. Center's just zero zero. It's actually a giant hub city. I think it's the radiation wall ahead of you. I don't know, man. I'm still going. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Strongly consider attending the New York, New Jersey show, but the VIP ticket is worth. Uh, so the VIP ticket will get you is an addition, I think, to the standard ticket. Please correct me if I'm wrong here, because I've said I'm, I haven't bought a ticket, so I'm not really 100% on how it works. But um, I'm 10.3 kilometers from where I spawn, by the way. Um, the main thing is you get a, a backstage meet and greet after the show. Unfortunately, those are usually pretty busy, though, depending on how ticket sales go. <laughs> um, there's a chance that uh, they'll be more engaged, but typically there's a, it's pretty busy, and uh, mainly what you'll get at that point is uh, we'll, we'll definitely make sure we, we take a picture and sign anything you like. Um, but that's probably some of them have been a little bit more conversational. But a lot of times, if it depends on how many people are there, it could be that we just have time to sign and, and take a picture real quick. Because um, it, it, it's it's strictly about the number of VIPs, and I'm not entirely sure how many tickets are sold. But if you get a VIP ticket, I can, I can guarantee that you will get to shake hands or take a picture, or get a signature from everybody on the Achievement Hunter and Funhouse team that is in attendance. Whew. Thank you, Allison. That's, and by that I mean Bamf Allison. That really makes me feel good inside when people say things like that. Let's just bring back presented with comment. Why, why not? I already, life sucks. Uh, thank you, MoJ. Where did Old Time Ryan come from, and have you played Creeper Soccer? When you played Creeper Soccer, I don't know. I really don't know where anything that comes out of my mouth comes from. Hey, time to cock the wagon. I'm out of stamina. Thank you, Green Time. Thank you, uh, Bear Run. 2220 is going to be intense for you, Misha Collins and Kanye West. It's a real dream team. Maybe we'll run together. Uh,. Let's see. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm hungry. Shall I go make roast beef sandwich? I've been contemplating for an hour. I mean, it does sound delicious. Wait, am I hot or cold? I'm standing in a frozen wonderland and overheating. What world am I living in here? Uh, thank you. What about my cape? Never realized how unequal pocket sizes were until I watched a boy pull two regular sized calculators in his wallet out of his pockets. Yes. That is true. Thank you, Caitlin. I don't think you're old enough, son. I'm so confused about the nature of our relationship now. Our weird digital relationship. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, do you think H has done less preparation for Laser Team 2 than in for Laser Team 1? It seems like from the first member's perspective. Yes. Um, but... Uh... It should only be out of the office for another... Basically, after we get back from Let's Play Live, they'll be done. Yeah, Allison, what was your question? And until then, sorry, you just have to put up with me, Jeremy, and Jack. And yes, I understand that 
Michael should have been in ukulele because he loves banjo kazooie. And yes, Michael should have been in the Sasquatch game because mountain monsters. Well, guess what? He's not there. I haven't heard that comment several times. I mean, I'm trying to do my best to watch Allison. You can try and ask it right now. Did it sound salty? It didn't mean to be salty. Not, I mean, not a little salty. It certainly actually meant to be a lot salty. Thank you, the Mega Queen. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Cheryl. I, I don't know what you're on Allison's side for. Allison ah! and I are great, right? Thank you, Caitlin. I mean, I look, it's not that I don't understand the point that both that Michael has a connection to both of those games. It's just we can't put everything on hold when he's not there. Uh, or, and, and same goes for Gavin. Like, Achievement Hunter continues. If Achievement Hunter is just Michael and Gavin for you, then you're going to have a real bad time. Sorry. All right. Hold on. Where was that? Okay. I still haven't seen Ashley's or uh, Allison's question. How come the one time you notice me, my tweet is a sassy one and not a cute one? Maybe I notice all of them, Allison. Uh, I also noticed, uh, I think, didn't your Twitter picture used to be a picture of us and now it is no longer a picture of us? Uh, I'm a little insulted. I feel like you've written me out of your life a little bit. And that hurts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shed a tear here. The <laughs> she did dump me. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Yes, balls. Probably both of those. Oh, I'm so... I delete my Twitter. No! <laughs> I've been trying to read tweets. I can't... I literally... I can't respond to every uh, tweet and snap. And social media is overwhelming for me already just because uh, I suck as a social media person. So... Um, it doesn't mean I don't see a lot of it, so. And frequently I will just peruse through and smile to myself and then go about my day. Having been given the strength to carry on from all of your support. Uh. Wait, wait! This is it! We made it! There's the blasted lands! But I don't know if that's the real edge of the world. Uh, thank you, actually, for me room. <laughs> yeah, but I, the problem is I'm not good at interacting with people. I think that is the end of the world. At just a scant... Yep, that's definitely the end of the world. A scant 11.8 kilometers from where I spawned. So, on day three... But... It's day three, but two and a half hours. So if we could do it in just one block. Originally, when I threw out this idea, it was as a... Um, it was as like a stream, where we just did one long run. And that could work. Yeah, let me check out Starvation. Thank you, Bob. Uh, and also, thank you, Asimov and Shane. I feel so ignored. Hold on, I'm catching back up. Uh... Yeah, no, I, I had I missed a few there just because I was sassing Allison. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Just had to go all out. That's shitty. I'm sorry, Katie. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, uh, well, no, I mean, Kevin, we've been saying that they're going to shoot Laser Team for a while. <laughs> you have multiple follow-up questions, Allison. Okay, just a second. Let me catch up on the... Missing things here and start looking for a mod. 
Um, thank you, Moj. Same here. Level three, y'all. Felt like y'all two specifically don't get enough screen time. It's bringing the story of the game when they return. Uh, who's got time for that? We're busy making all the content for two channels with just three of us or three or four of us. <laughs> Sadly, that takes up most of our prank time. Uh, Jeremy and I are actually starting a new uh, new show, though. Um, we're resurrecting the Battle Buddies. Uh, and we've already shot one episode of... We did Sniper Elite. So, I'm not exactly sure when that'll be more official. Uh, but be keep an eye out for it. We had a really good time shooting it. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, just put a picture of the Twitter. Ah, thank you, Shane. Side note, you're the person I like me the most RTX last year, except maybe Jeremy. All right, I'll take it. Um, thank you, Kevin. Your champ. Keep on keeping on. Will do. Why don't I just look at it over here? Oh, right. Okay. Thank you, uh, Zesmoro. This is a nice walk and talk, zombies. Thank you, chat. Yeah, we're just kind of chilling. I just needed, like, a chill stream. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Now everyone's getting your salt this week versus me on Tuesday for being a traitor, which I wasn't. Now it's Allison. Oh, look, it moves around a little bit. That's what you're here for, right? Thank you, Ashley. I'll add whoever I want. Thank you, Grim Wizard. Uh, best team's battle buddies. Also, much as I love Gavin Michael, this also means more videos with B team. It's fantastic. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not on the B team. Come on now. Or unless you're talking about the original B team with Matt and uh, thank you, Kevin. Fair play. Love Jeremy Jack. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Cheryl. Da, 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 hang on. I, did, I know I missed someone in here. Uh, there we go. Thank you, Shane. Uh, favorite part on GT. Let's play the music after you're in Ray's death and Michael's ice. Thank you. I think I edited that one, if I remember correctly. Hey, Bear Run. Can Jack and Jerry make the best team ever? We do, kind of have a lot of fun so hopefully people are enjoying that we've also made some really good content like as much as people are complaining i feel like we've also done a pretty good job with stuff we've done so far we shot something that's sexy brutal look out for that that's gonna be really fun um it made you think you put music in michael's heist my favorite part of ng i already said this over time so disregard that got it okay thank you ashley i'll sass anybody anytime all right starvation mod Thank you, Caitlin, for you, Gavin Michael. Do you have any idea when Jeff will return from war? Well, it's a great question. <laughs> should should ask him that. Sure, you know, there are terms of use. I read and understood them. Thank you, Ashley. Do it. You won't. I, I, well, hold on. I'm trying to install a mod. Give me a minute. Thank you, Honest Dave. I missed all of Allison's follow-up questions, too. Hold on. I'm trying... I just, I just one... Okay. Give me... All right. Procedures. Client server launcher. Okay. Okay. It's on Google Drive. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think you can preview a 7-zip. I don't want to do it in Russian. Here we go. Overview. Thank you, other Allison. Don't tell anyone, but you're here for me. Let's watch. Aww. Thanks for the redaction. Ah! Thank you, Rogue Spear. Hopefully about... Now the cup is over the thing. I've made another boo-boo. Hopefully the battle buddies don't get shit in the head as much as you do. Shot in the head, maybe? Shot to the head, but you're too bad. Thank you, Griselis. Thank you, Shane. Hey, shout out to Paco, Dissolution Key, Oz Hawkeye, and Extended for making this thing. Thank you, Tiny Bear and Shane. Uh, thank you, Jamie. I meant to say, they're honestly just as entertained by you three as I am. Normally, you guys are doing a great job. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jamie. Uh, again, I do understand that there are several situations where it would have been nice to have Michael there because of the, the various connections he has to some of the content we've been making. But, he's not, so we must soldier on. Do I not have 7-zip and solve on this? I may not. 
Thank you, Kevin. I'm moving my fiance, Vice. Welcome. You guys went to Duke, so feel connection to Larry. Wow. Hey, props to you for making it through Duke. That's not an easy thing to do. Uh, thank you, Gypped 2D. Gyp 2D. I feel like that is Gypped. Uh, thank you, Cheryl. I'm going to meet you at Let's Play Live. I'll be at RTX. Don't fly across country for just anyone, but shh. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Moje. See your email. Giving you a heads up. Can see my email. I'm looking around desperately. Thank you. Huh. Is it just on the like loading screen right at the thing? On my home page. Oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, and Google Docs is open. Oh well. Ah! Uh, thank you, Bob. That's the one. Just drag the folder into the seven days folder, and you should be good to go. You make a shortcut for launcher app. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Jordan Says Things. Thank you, Shane. You're all amazing. You, Jack and Jeremy. Just kidding. Oh, wait. Harsh? Thank you, JB. Uh, let's make a guarantee that you are the top six of my favorite people. Statement is not sort of nonsense. Thank you. Thank you, Mojay. Google Drive, yeah. Thank you, Verson Gallows. Thank you, Nix. Uh, conversation Good. Have you used bath bombs yet? No, I haven't used 10 bath bombs yet. I do have, I do have them. I just haven't used them yet. Uh, thank you, Asmov. Thanks for... MLB, the show grinding much easier with your journey. Glad to see more of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Cooper Soccer. Thank you, Zazmoro. Uh, I mean... Thank you, Katie. Oh, damn, I hope I was being nice to you. Uh, well, I was supposed to answer some more follow-up questions. Um, and then I got distracted. Thank you, the sweater god. No, I just installed it. Didn't I? What computer is this? My brain has really come to a hard stop. So there we go. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Sweater God. Throw my boy Ryan some bits to let you know you're my favorite achievement hunter. You carry the team. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, couldn't do it without everybody I work with, though. They're uh, a really amazing bunch of people to work with. All right, so do you think you say I should just drag this in? No, seriously, do do it. I know I should have said yes to all. All right, so I take this into the Seven Days to Die folder. Mm, to the x86, because Steam is x86. Okay. The game. Current ba 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 patch notes. Start. Ooh, probably should hit update, right? Thank you, Kevin. Uh, hope you're a Duke basketball fan. I don't really have much of a choice. I'm legally required to tolerate it. Thank you, Lisa Fury. I'm getting glared at what I do. Probably so many things. A new game. Okay. Starved. Thank you, Ryan. Albus's alignment change last episode said, so said he was chaotic good, not neutral, but several have told me he's chaotic evil. No, he was evil. Well, he started neutral. Then, again, this has all been at the whims of, uh, or at Frank has been moving it around. Wait, why do I hate myself? I don't hate myself. Who hates me? No one hates me more than me. I'll fight him. Wait, what? Thank you, Bob. Yep, should work for test run. There's sanity on the update. Why did I not look at the settings? That was not good. 
Sanity update. Okay. <laughs> oh, bring it, Allison! Any Allison! I'll pop this shirt off and then we'll throw down. We'll throw hands or whatever it was. Alright. Don't feel like sanity is a thing. Alright. I don't think that worked. First time I've thrown a mod on this. That you actually, I'm always feisty. Oh. Well, that's new. Do I really your last year? Well, the last year was glare. Let me make sure I didn't miss one before that. May take up to two minutes. Okay, we got a second. Well, let me look and see what I missed. Release the fury. I feel like release the fury is releasing fury on me. It's not showing up in my list. I have glare. Unless it was way back. Fight you in Baltimore. I'll pelt bath bombs. No, I read that one. Was there another one I missed somewhere? Thank you, Bear Run. I've aged once someone to bring them sandwiches and snacks from Colonel Bear. Thank you. That's cool. I wonder how big that is. It's probably huge. <laughs> so that would be a world size five. Not sure how big that is exactly, but is a dog gonna get to see up close? Well, you can see him all the time. All right, let me see what happened here. That's just updating the launcher, but I feel like it probably needed to install the mod, right? All right, I'm watching the chat. Thank you, Andino. Can I fight you with puns at RTX? The only way I could win. I sure. Go for it. We came to, 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 that's in the right place. Hi, Kuya Jams. All right, Bob. What am I doing wrong here? My search history is probably either alternates between very banal and then very weird. Just because I search for things that work all the time that make no sense. Sure, Allison, hit me with questions. Thank you, Orion Productions. And Bob, you don't have to cheer. I'm, I'm watching the chat, so if you have any thoughts on what I'm doing wrong here. Or did I just not find the sanity? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Now it's downloading it for you. Uh, thank you, Hoser Man, Agne. One day we'll let's find that. Okay, I'm still watching, Allison. Thank you, Hoosie. What's it? I think it's time for me to hit the head. Good night. I had a good time. Thank you, Kevin. How many tweets have you seen? How many of my tweets have you seen? Do I send too many? Uh, no, Allison. Please don't be self-conscious. <laughs> I did not mean to do that to you. Thank you, Kevin. Molly Bindium was proper. No, I know it's wrong. I just, I like saying it that way. Just like I like, I, I guess it rains down in Africa. Sometimes you just, the first time you see something, you're like, that's how I'm going to say that from now on. Um, Allison, yes. No, I, it's, it's definitely not overwhelming. I'm, I'm just teasing you. I, I'm, I'm a teaser. What can I say? Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Nix. At least we're going to talk about how you have not used bath bombs, the sugar scrub, and how you must hate yourself because you're not allowed to indulge in luxury bath products. It's not that I hate myself. Well, I mean, it's their days, but uh, I'm pretty, as a 36 year old male, I'm pretty much over it. Like, I'm good with my level of me. Um, and it's just that uh, it's it's rare to find a time where there's, you, you feel like if you're going to go out, go ahead and pop out the, the, the bath bomb. You want to have a minute where there's not going to be a kid that bursts in five minutes in going, I need to poopy! And then flinging it at the wall. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a tease and a sass. I'm a lover, I'm a dumb, I'm a teaser, I'm a something. I have offered the bath bombs to Laurie, and this is another sign of the fact that my household is not conducive to having time to actually use one. She hasn't gotten to use it yet either. Look, I'm not. No, my kids have never flung poop at the wall. But they are kids. It could happen. Thank you, Reginald. Looking forward to possibly Let's Play Live Denver. Maybe Red Rocks. I mean, we can hope. Let's make sure we get through this tour. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Most recent upgrade to your house that you personally performed. E well, I'm still kind of working on that bed that I'm supposed to be building for Eli, so it's several months in. Remember how I never changed the sounds on this? I'm kind of like that with construction. But I'm going to be home all day tomorrow because uh, the kid's school is closed for uh, Good Friday. So if I can get Livy to go to bed, maybe I can actually finish it. Thank you, Adriana. My day was very well. Very good. Thank you. Busy. Very tired. And your dogs are poorly trained. Thank you, Miss Fury. Yes, and my dogs are very poorly trained. So that's another source of potential wall poo. I mean, not that they would poop on the wall, but maybe the kids would find it and fling it. No, Eli's got a bed. I'm just building him a lofted bed. <laughs> He's not sleeping on the floor. He's got a very nice bed. He just wanted one that's way up in the air. Yeah, no, I don't English cat pad, thank you. I don't know, no excuses for me, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, make him sleep in the basement. That I don't have, because I live in Texas, where they don't have basements. Plus, you don't make a kid sleep anywhere. You know what would happen if you were like, you get to sleep on the floor. Then that kid would be like, yeah, instead of that, I'm going to sleep in your bed. <laughs> and then I would sleep on the floor. Hey, all right, there we go. Mod is up to date. Let's go insane. Boop. What dog cat food do you get? Science diet. Thank you, Release Fury. That was sarcastic, as in, you said your dogs are poorly trained, but your children apparently throw poop at the walls. It's in their grandma's house. Unfortunately, grandma's house is either in uh, Illinois or Georgia. It's uh, a little, little, little harder to send them over there. It involves a plane ride. At this point, I just want to test to make sure this works. I know I gotta finish the bed. Who in age can squat the most weight? Kevin, I have no idea why I would know the answer to that question. <laughs> Probably someone that's tried the squat weight. Thank you, Nix. There's sugar scrubs off the Larry working in a vet. I, I have been, I, I hope it is not offensive to you, but I, of course, when something like that came into my house, immediately offered it to my very hardworking and tired wife, who very much appreciates things like that. I even told her it was for, uh, from you guys. So, um, but as I said, she has not really had the opportunity to use them either. Dear friend, Okay. 
still not seeing a sanity. I don't I assume that it would show up here. Maybe I didn't make a new world. Thank you, Spence. Albus. Right, sorry, Albus's alignment. And thank you, Jazzy. Um so initially Frank changed me from as I understand it, like he didn't ever tell me he was doing it. I only found out when people started talking about it in uh, in the episodes. Um, but it uh, it happened, I think, originally because I hydrated a drow in a cave. By hydrated, I mean I. Uh, didn't give him water to drink and then murdered him. But he was a bad person. Um, anyway, I uh, I think somewhere in there they decided, or Frank decided I was going down a darker path and so moved me to chaotic evil. And then I guess I got nicer and so he moved me back to neutral and then to good because I guess I've turned a corner. Oh, and for anybody wondering what the note that Frank passed me um, when we went, th when, uh, we went, we get to a point where we get sucked into a different place. That's all I'll say. Uh, and Frank passed me a note, and it was just a note that, uh, I'm trying not to give any spoilers. He gave me a note that for, uh, it's not really a secret, it's just I haven't had, like, a good opportunity to work it into the story. Um, but it's just because we got sucked through that dimensional, or through a dimensional shift, basically, that that un messed up Albus's mind a little bit, so he got plus one to his intelligence uh, stat as he's starting to, between reading the book and, uh, and going through the um, dimensional shift, he, he gets a little bit of his brain un unmessed up. Granted, his intelligence stat is still... Oops. Something just went horribly wrong. Is still real bad. I don't know if that computer just crashed or... If, oh, wait. Why did you just decide that you were in charge, Nintendo? His... I don't... I think maybe his... Ooh. His modifier might not actually be minus one anymore. What just happened? Uh, thank you, Clint Fole. Thank you, uh, Katie. What was the last donation for being awesome? Always a super supportive of everyone. Thank you for a wonderful week. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you, Elise Fury. Hotels are a good option. That's up already clean. It's true. You have that opportunity when you're in Japan. How that Meg said she and Martin both used them while y'all were in there, so I have zero excuses. They did have a nice tub there. I usually just collapsed at the end of the day because we were walking a lot. Uh, thank you. It's your boys. Uh, thank you, Nix. Uh, Laurie has full access to them having worked in a vet's office that we've the most. Yes, she does. And thank you for that very much. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to figure this out, but I think for tonight I'm going to call it. Um, so we'll do story time. Thanks, everybody, for joining me this evening. Uh, I'll be back. I don't think I'm going to have a weekend stream this weekend. But maybe. Probably not, though. Um, those of you that are just joining us for the first time, at the end of every stream, I will read something requested in the Discord. There's a there's a Discord you can have, have access to. There's special Discord channels that are for subs only, but uh, the request part of it is open to anyone. Uh, thank you, Nix. Uh, thank you, Adriana. Finding Bigfoot Let's Play when Jack killed him. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes. Yeah, sometimes. I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Um, but let's see. But for anybody heading out, thank you so much for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you next Tuesday if you're so inclined. Right, it's Easter this weekend, so definitely not going to happen there. I'm glad we could all bond over boobs and journeys to the end of the world. Let's see. Okay. Hey, Lottie requests Linger. Linger, a campfire song. I don't know the music to it, so it'll be spoken word. <clears throat> linger. Oh, it's Linger. 
I don't know why I would assume that's Linger. Linger. It's a lot of hmms in that. All right. Thank you, Rui. Make new videos up. Nice spike cosplay. Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, I didn't. I noticed that. I need to go tweet about it. I mean, I don't need to, but I like to support her because she took me to Japan. Um, all right, linger. Got it. Thank you, Bob. Crafting menu goes normal. Try moving the mod folder into seven days launcher folder. Search around the crafting menu. If it looks normal, try to moving the mod folder into. This. I'll actually read through the documentation and uh, it'll uh, it'll work. Don't worry. All right. Hmm. I want to linger. Hmm. A little longer. Hmm. A little longer. Here with you. <sighs> it's such a perfect night. Hmm. Doesn't seem quite right. Hmm. That this should be my last with you. Hmm. And come September, hmm. I will remember our scouting days of friendships true. I'm dropping some hmms. And as the years go by, I'll think of you and sigh. This is good night and not goodbye. I want to linger a little longer, a little longer here with you. Thanks, Lottie. I, I dropped the hums. Yeah, I had to let them go. They were getting a little weird. Thank you, Pegleg Sailor. Good night. Sweet dreams of zombie kink indeed. Uh, thank you, Nissa. Thank you, Ashley, and happy, uh, oh, everybody, I hope you have a good weekend, uh, have an enjoyable Easter for those of you that celebrate it, um, and hopefully I will see you all back Tuesday. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, oh, right, thank you, uh, Moje. Good night, till Tuesday, indeed. Uh, thank you, Bear Run, nothing quite like story time for my internet dad, much love, and have a wonderful weekend, safe and well. Thank you very much. I will be trying to weather a, uh, Egg hunt. Those kids are ruthless. Uh, thank you, Kever. Kever. Hey, Kever. Thank you, Kevin. Linger now with me, thou beauty. Thank you, Doc. Uh, sunflower, next time. We'll, we'll knock it out. Uh, thank you, Lottie. True girl guide. Oh, is that like a girl guide thing? I don't, uh, obviously, not up to date on my girl guide songs. Maybe when Livy gets a little bit older. Oh, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna, I'm, last time I cut it off too soon. Even though I thanked everybody, I didn't let them all show up on screen. So I'm going to wait until Lottie shows up right now. Oh, wait, right, there it is. Oh, and thank you, Bob. Good night, good luck, good work, uh, love it out. Uh, if you can get it to work, you'll love it. Watch out for spiders. Absolutely. I will get it working. I... I have made more than one mod work in my time. I just didn't actually bother to read the documentation. I just slapped it in the folder and went with it. So don't worry, I'll get it figured out. Thank you for the recommendation, everybody that recommended this, this that mod. Uh, if I can get it working, maybe you'll see it when we do Oregon Trail. Anyway, good night, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend.